Oh my God. There we go. That's a lot that I'm sending out. I should probably know this too. <laughs> oh my god waiting for the people to show up at this point let's see oh hello bg comes in with oh poggers oh my dude viper vivo yo you're live EA Sports, it's trash. Keenan comes in with the with the hottest comment you could ever find right there. I love it, dude. I love it. Oh, oh, no, we're not gonna play. We're not gonna play the content until the room sort of fills up a little bit. Square boy, yo, love you, ordinary. Thanks, man. You want to see my paw collection? Sure, brother. Show me that paw collection of yours. What the fuck is going down? Says Space Gang Tash. Hmm. Well, boys and girls, lol, no one watches this idiot other than Weeb, says Special Snowflake. You're right, actually. You're not wrong, friend. Does that make you a Weeb? I'm just asking, though. Which is which would be an odd thing, considering I don't really watch anime now, do I? Do I watch anime? No, I do not. I don't watch any of that anime stuff. I actually only watch shit like Ghost in the Shell. Like, if you ever have, like, some fucking... If you have some cyberpunkish anime, I guess I'll watch it. Um, I don't really watch anything else. I tried. I I tried watching this one anime recently. I forgot the fucking name of it, but it's about this dude who like dies and wakes up in like Dragon Quest. So I watched it on this service called fucking um, what was it um, Funimation. Holy fuck, do I hate Funimation, guys? Can I can I can I please have this introductory session? Can will you guys allow me to shit? on Funimation for a little bit, okay? Can I can I shit on Funimation for just one second? Okay. This site has so many fucking ads if you don't pay for it, it's not even fucking funny. So to understand, I downloaded it on my fucking PlayStation because I'm like, oh wow, easy way for me to play f watch anime, right? So I, I click on it, I download it. Oh my god, dude, the amount of fucking ads they have on Funimation is insane. So you start the actual video, right? Um, first off, they gotta play you, like, four minutes of fucking ads. Then they play the intro to the anime, which everyone fucking skips. Then they play another four or five minutes of fucking ads. Alright, and then you watch, you know, the next bit. It's like television, right? Now, I would fucking be okay with that if the ads were cool. But Funimation's ads are literally just them, okay? So, like, every time you're watching this, like, anime, the fucking, uh, ad starts playing. It's like... <laughs> like, they, they get this, like, fucking cracked out music. And then they're trying to pimp out Dragon Ball Z, fucking Madoka Magica, all right? What's the what's the other one? Shit, One Piece, okay? Like all these starter animes. Oh my god. Oh my god. And you know why they do it? So you can just pay for cr fucking Funimation Premium. I am not going to pay for Funimation Premium. Jean 54114. Yes, I am reading the chat. I will never pay for Funimation Premium premium okay funimation premium can eat my asshole all right god damn all right who the fuck who decided to ass fuck 
me with the advertisements on fun of me. I will never do it. I will never do it. All right. These guys make watching the show so fucking anal that people are like, like there are literally like staunch. Okay. Piracy virgins that are looking at the pirate bay. Okay. Like, I'm not promoting piracy, I'm not promoting you commit a crime or anything, but there are people that have the, the most rigid of fucking morals, okay? People who believe that downloading a ROM will send you to prison and will send your ass to hell, okay? Alright, there are people out there that legitimately believe that downloading a fucking SNES ROM, alright, is enough for you to go to hell, okay? Have you thought about paying for Funimation Premium? I will not support Funimation Premium, thank you though. For the fiber. I will not support Funimation Premium, okay? There are literally fucking priests out there, okay? That will damn you from ever coming in, alright? Jesus Christ. Somebody says, get an iFunny sponsorship. You know, motherfucker, we're gonna go to iFunny.com, okay? Because I feel like people shit on that. Let's do a little challenge. Let's see how long it takes for me to laugh at iFunny, okay? Alright, so here's the first post on iFunny. Airbags are scary. This is- What? It's literally a gif of a watermelon busting, okay? Whoever decided that was funny, all right, should be ta should be taken to a fucking asylum because that is not funny, okay? Finished installing the seats, boss. All right, let's see. Let's see what the seat's up to. Oh, would you look at that? The seat doesn't work. Ha ha. Pretty funny, champ. Ha 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 ha. Oh my god. Here's, here's a beautiful one right here, okay? I would murder someone, all right? Now, first off, I don't know if that's violating of TOS or anything, but uh, iFunny so far hasn't been fucking funny, okay? So let's... And my U.S. history teacher was trying to get us to understand why it was such a big deal that England had put a tax on colonial sugar. And he goes, what if you had to pay a tax every time you logged on to Wi-Fi and your whole class went, oh... Wow, someone fucking failed history, didn't they? God damn. God damn. Not only am I not fucking laughing, but I'm also really, really, really pissed off that this person failed fucking history. What? What What were we learning here? What fucking, what was the lesson here? So they put a tax on sugar, right? Okay, and then this person equates it to connecting to the fucking Wi-Fi. Listen, guys, I know back in the day they didn't like the British too much, all right? America and British weren't getting along too well. Damn British for a little while. <laughs> all right? I know it. But that's a that's a, that, that's such a leap of logic that there's like at least a fucking... <laughs> you know, there's a lot. I'm laughing more at my explanation. Okay, anyways, let's go here. Average IQ is 100. What is yours? All right, so they do the... Oh, that's an ad. Oh, wait, what? These are ads? Oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck you. I'm not going to do the brainable IQ test. Get out of here. It's so fucking unfunny that you can't tell the ads between the actual jokes. This guy almost made Bieber cry. This guy almost made Bieber cry. He deserves an Oscar. Okay, did I enter a fucking time? Did we discover time travel, guys? Did we just discover time? Here, let me, re let me read some of the super chats real quick. Edo Despair is like, how are you, Habibi? I'm good. Heath is like, you still going to use code SOG? Before I get that buy one, get one free there on G Fuel? Thanks, brother. Please kiss me to Rogue Internet, man. MC, JSAX, thank you, MIG. And another G Fuel Tower? I think I might build one, actually. I got to ask my boys. Space Gangster joined up. Valhalla's like, bust in me. Oh, okay. Getting a little weird, champ. Funny Dolan's by Queen Nidus. When the anime titties are held at ransom by places like Funimation and Crunchyroll, it's a moral obligation to pir piracy the anime titty. <laughs> God bless. Critic TV. How's it hanging, Fudahar? When's the next deep web browsing? This weekend, thank you. Alyssa McCann, I'll marry you. Oh, Alyssa. I'm a gay boy. Curly Bill, I finally graduated high school. <laughs> For a big man. Uh, so yeah, they're stuck in a meme format from 2007. Like, this isn't fucking funny, okay? I don't think my boyfriend's roommates appreciate my craft projects. Am I- is this a fucking Etsy ad? No! Alright, one page of iFunny, one page of iFunny, and the meme holds, okay? Next virus investigation is tomorrow, actually. We literally- we literally went to this shit. We literally went to one page of iFunny. Could not find one fucking funny, okay? All right. Let's go to page two. Arguing on the internet again. 
Huh, I'm not just arguing, I'm taking a stand against ignorance. Are you on Twitter? Are you arguing on Twitter? Congrats, you wasted your fucking time. If Trump replaces Obama's orange early, then you... <laughs> okay. okay that, that, was, uh, that was an unexpected funny, all right? That was a... Uh, ooh... Ooh, I feel bad at laughing on that one. God damn. God damn. It took a Trump joke to make me laugh, didn't it? <laughs> no, because thanks, man. Thanks, you, buddy. Thanks, Amari. God damn. It's not devalued. You send it, baby. It's all the value I need. Fernando, thanks for being a member. And Just Wins is like, hi, Muda. <laughs> I, I guess I found one stupid funny, okay? Make a video about Yakuza car. Well, since you called me a cocknado. You bet, bad. <laughs> all right. Now, you know what I... How many of you all love music in the chat? Give me give me a one in the chat if you all love music, all right? Give me a one in the chat if you love music. <laughs> I just, I just want to see the answer. Okay, so we're getting ones. We're getting a lot of ones here. We're getting a lot of ones. We're getting a lot of ones. Clab Infinity, do you believe YouTube has a right to change the terms of service? I don't think, I think they have the right to change their TOS, but, you know, what happens in the past should stay as appropriate with past guidelines. Just want to say you're my favorite YouTuber, been binge watching lately, all the way from OOT Let's Plays. Dylan, you've been here for a fucking millennium, brother. So if you guys love music so much, how many of you all know about Viper the Rapper, okay? This is one of my favorite artists that has ever been created, okay? Viper the Rapper is such creative geniuses as y'all cowards don't even smoke crack. Now, as per Subordinary Gamers' as lawyers, we have to state that we don't believe in what Viper says, because Viper's a fucking, I think he's like a straight-up anti-vaxxer, like flat earthist, all this kind of shit. I don't know whether it's for, but uh, let's go look at Viper, let's go look at Viper's most viewed hit, okay? All right. Viper says, fuck Earth, I'm going to wage an interstellar war. Viper, <laughs> Minecraft and the rocks. Viper, crack juice. Uh, Vi <laughs> the Chinese ain't do Tiananmen Square. I did. All right, let's, let's listen to this one. I wasn't born in this spot. It's a fucking YouTube. It's a, it's a YouTube approved joint. I like it. Viper's got the ads. I don't want to listen to Little Baby. Who the fuck? Man, why are there so many fucking little rappers these days, okay? Somebody could just say, my name is Little Ding Dong. My name is Little Testicles, and I'd believe that shit. All right? I want to listen to my boy Viper. Crazy day. Sick day. Yeah. You're, not, you're not supposed to understand Viper, by the way. You have to listen to at least 15 songs before you can start understanding it. What if I go through it all this money? <laughs> oh man oh man dude oh man they made fucking music for this shit <laughs> trying to be real quiet since this one dropped boys <laughs> it just takes a fucking green screen and Tiananmen square footage it's pretty fucking good So, the best part about it is, while you can't understand him, the comment sections are the fucking funniest, okay? This is a 4chan shit post that skipped getting posted in <laughs> This is the truth that Western media won't report. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Oh shit, I knew it. People call me crazy, but the evidence are right here. <laughs> oh man, oh man, this is literally the best thing I've ever seen. Me too, friend, me too. All right, let's go look at more of Viper's based music discography. <laughs> here, here's, this is like the one that's the longest. So my brother sent me this one, okay? Uh, fucking, I have to, I have to find, you can find me obtaining Mew and Deoxys using the Pomic Berry glitch, okay? Now, this isn't just your one minute shit post. I need to skip this shit, thank you. You've got a, a 17 minute shit post. This, my friends, is what the, what the kids these days call a hood classic. 
He just has like legit. He downloaded somebody's speedrun footage and just like straight ran it. I fucking love this dude. All right, and then he like, and then he takes his shirt off somewhere in the middle of it. And you can't understand him. Like you may not understand him right now. That's because you're just not smart enough to understand Viper. Okay, your brain, your brain has to like change. Okay, your brain has to have a chemical reaction. Uh, Viper legit about to go off for 17 minutes. Bro didn't even mute the background gameplay. What a next level move. <laughs> Viper name Viper the Rapper type dark fire. <laughs> Ability hustle nature busta item crack attack one charm attack two flamethrower attack three mean look attack four sucker punch viper the first guy to smoke a geo dude <laughs> uh, uh, oh man this legit feels like an unknown dimension viper was playing the trumpet in gen 3 <laughs> the production is insane as always i agree I agree, dude. I agree. Everyone knows about Viper's relationship with crack. Only the real ones will know about the hornness of death. When man discovers God's language. This is the peak of human evolution. I agree, Gary. I fucking agree. Absolutely. Now, of course, he's also got like, he's also got like way more uh, music, if you will. Is he? Hold on. Wait a second. I thought he was getting fucked in the ass there. No, it's fine. No, it's fine. That's fine. We're good. We're good. Fuck Earth. I'm going to wage an interstellar war. Wait. Oh, that was a year ago. What did he upload recently? I've been stuck in a wormhole for the whole of May, of May but I'm back. He made 300 something albums. So, full fact, I have a video coming out on Viper through his history because I respect the crack magnet he is. But this is his most recent song. It's not blurred, by the way. You guys just don't have enough fucking power in your computer monitors to support it. I feel like he's just a troll. So, understandably, he's just a troll. So now, you guys are understanding it, right? That's because your brain has had the chemical reaction. The music kind of hits. He wasn't stuck. He was just dealing drugs with the... <laughs> <laughs> Rick and Morty was inspired by Viper Dan Harmon. <laughs> this man is beyond God. Viper out to here. Uh, why Viper out here about the Hall and Melinda Gates with this wormhole conversation? <laughs> Even when Vi Viper's in a wormhole, he's still trapping. Legend. Uh, Viper interdimensional traveling. I knew he could. So I, I think Viper's kind of a straight up troll. I don't think he believes anything. Like I feel like Viper's just like a 4chan troll on steroids. Dude, <laughs> why aren't clubs playing this? If I was a DJ at a nightclub, and, and I, I would actually unironically- Wait a minute, is, is this ultra-wide? Oh, I thought Viper made this an ultra-wide video. I was about to come. I was about to coom. <laughs> God damn. Bread was everywhere like a million bucks. Honestly, it's not worse than most of the SoundCloud shit that I've heard today. Have you ever been on Spotify and you like let it autoplay music for you? It's fucking bad, okay? Dude, whoever designed fucking Spotify's AI put more fucking ass in it than intelligence. That's for sure, okay? All right, Spotify cannot find a good music track for you, okay? Out of the one year that I've owned premium, it's found one song for me. That's it, one song. Cash was everywhere, something like a million bucks. Money was everywhere, something like a million bucks. He has 300 albums. 300 albums, all of them are fucking bangers. So apparently people told me the world of high finance, uh, super expensive, uh, super expensive houses. Somebody told me, like, this was like a fucking, this is like a dealio. Where, like, people look at super expensive fucking homes, I guess. And I guess I kind of want to look at it. Mansion no one wants for even one dollar. A one hundred and eighteen million dollar mansion tour. What the fuck? Most expensive house in the United States? I just kind of want to fucking see this. Hold on. Thank you, Jaime. 
Will you be covering the Pentagon releasing information on the fucking thing? Yeah? Actually, I kind of been looking into that. I, I have a huge, like, fucking alien, like, uh, alien, like, moment behind the scenes that I'm looking into. Alright, let's look at this. 924 Bel Air Road. Bel Air, how much is this house again? Oh, you know it's pretentious as fuck when they're coming in the helicopter, isn't it? What? Alright, can, can we actually see a tour of the house? Oh, it's one of those fucking videos where they jack the entire house. Fuck that. Fuck that. I want to see, I want to see somebody walk through the house. I don't want to see it for like 36 minutes or something. Alright, that's like, that's like one of those like, fu fuck you. I'm not going to look at that, okay? Tribal end media. You can eat my asshole. That's 250 million? That's cute. Exploring an 80,000, 80 million glass mansion. Okay, I can't fucking read. All right, let's see this. Top 10 most expensive cars in the world, and you still get a ticket past, what is this? Inside the top seven mega million mansions, most exp All right, let's look at this one. 150 million. So you're rolling in a fucking- in Los Angeles, with pity for the wealthy right, and the wealthy only. It has the highest yearly household income out of any neighborhood in Los Angeles. With well, I mean, when you're paying $150 million to live in a fucking shack, okay, let's be honest here, right? Motherfucker, you're gonna have the highest income, the right? The average being $207,989 a year. <laughs> How much you wanna bet most of the income there is legitimately drug money? What's a, what, what is the percentage we're gonna have on drug money real quick, chat? What's the percentage on drug money? 50? Maybe 60%? I'm sure most of those houses are owned by a cartel. Oh, let's turn it up? Yeah, for real. And my, do the homes roof like that. Today, we're going to take a look at the most expensive homes for sale in Bel Air right now. Okay. We'll see exactly what millions of dollars get you here and see exactly if it's worth it. Number five. It's not. There, I just answer the question. 40 seconds into the video. 11490 Orem Road. Located at 11490 Orem Road, this home is the most affordable on our list with a sales Wait, price of just hold on a $56 million. Dollars. $56 million dollars for a fucking, coal, like a bent Colgate this home tube? is the most affordable ah! on our list with a sales price Oh, that's four. Oh! Oh, okay, okay. That looks terrible for fifty-six million. Fifteen-bathroom home spans eighteen thousand eight hundred and fifty square feet of contempt. It's like this is the problem with these houses, bathroom right? Like home someone bought this house, and the only thing that they can jack off about is look at all these fucking like uh, look at all these windows we have over here. You see how that shit is? Look at all the look at our walls. They're basically just glasses. For, get out of here! Get out of here! What is your day job? Since I know YouTube can't possibly pay your but my day job. I mean. I just invest money at this point. 850 square feet of contemporary wonder. According to the American Institute of Architects, who awarded the home for its super- Bro, that looks like a fucking- You just bought a $56 million fidget spinner. What in the actual fuck is wrong with you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There is some drug money being invested into this, all right? Okay, there's some motherfucking drug money. If I flew over my house and I looked at it after spending- over half, uh, like, seriously? That's a fidget spinner, doc. If it don't spin for $56 million, I've wasted my money. Awarded the home for its superior design. The architect behind it, Zoltan Polly, wanted to create a three-story home that appeared as if it were floating above its surroundings. And it does just that. The home is wrapped in floor-to-ceiling glass, which would allow the future owner to look out over the Getty Center, downtown and... Imagine, imagine glass, spending $56 million dollars like, Honey, come here! Look at the poor people! Look at them! Look at them! We just spent $56 million. Now look at those people. Honey, our house is worth more than the buildings there, okay? Jesus. Look at the ghetto, okay? We're better. Future owner to look out you over should, the Getty Center, downtown, and on a clear day, the ocean. And with views like that, the home is just made for land. The home is not made for $56 million, even with the view of a fuck. If I, bro, for $56 million, all right, if I got the view of God's, t you know, fucking, if I got, if I got the view, all right, of a goddess is like fucking just, no, it wouldn't be worth anywhere close. No. Parties. The home has six thousand. Drug money should take up twenty percent of your portfolio. Not to mention the patio <laughs> in no, beside the infinity pool. There's a wine cellar with enough room for one thousand bottles. So Man, here I am just drinking some Coronas. <laughs> There's a motherfucker out there with a thousand bottles of wine.
So any parties thrown here are sure to be fully stocked. There's also a Dolby theater that seats 10 people comfortably, but why? Okay, fine. You know, okay, comfortably, this might be the only thing I'd invest in in a house, but I don't know. Maybe 25 if things were getting interesting. Of course, with a modern glass exterior like this, the interior living space of the home is just as nice. The entire home is made of glass, marble, and light wood with large open living spaces. There are two gourmet chef's kitchens. What happens if a fucking earthquake shows up? Is this earthquake protected though? Isn't like, isn't Cowley known for earthquakes and tornadoes and shit? What happens if a tornado or an earthquake kicks in? Are you fucked? I think you're fucked. A wellness center with a spa and massage room and two masters gourmet chef's kitchens. A wellness center with a spa and... Anybody that owns a fucking spa room in their house? Anybody, okay? Anybody with like a massage room in their house? Anybody with that shit? They're, 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 they're hanging out with motherfuckers like Epstein's, okay? Jesus Christ, I'm telling you right now. No normal person I've ever met has a fucking massage room in their house, okay? Jesus Christ. Like, no one has a motherfucking massage room in the house. That's for goddamn sure. <laughs> what the fuck? Massage room. Th this, that room is for cooming. two master suites. <laughs> Number four, 300 Stone right. Canyon. Stone Canyon. While 11490... Already, I can tell you, this looks like a trash investment, but Forum okay. Road goes for an open, modern design. The next home on our list, 300 Stone Canyon, prefers to take a classic style and make it sleek and ah, functional. Ah, vintage. How much does that cost? 63 million. <laughs> oh, man. What cartel bought this, huh? This eight bedroom, 13 bathroom home is a mansion. Smoke in a bowl for the stream. I think you need it. I think I should There's a long get a little high driveway for this. that winds up to the motor court. The house itself is 15,000 square feet. And that's not even including the two bedroom, 2.5 bath guest house. The interior of the home takes its in. I mean, the interior looks like my grandma's fucking, like, just. This looks like my grandparents' house. I'm sorry, for 60 something million dollars. I would like to live somewhere better that reminds me of grandma's. Like, come on now, all right, Jesus. Inspiration from French chateaus with high ceiling rooms, crown molding. And Who the fuck brings the old mate? And there's many <laughs> okay. fireplaces as they can squeeze in. All, right. all in all, the home has eight fireplaces ranging from. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> At some point, you're so fucking rich that it doesn't matter. Like, eight fireplaces. <laughs> Motherfucker, you only need one, dude. You only need one. <laughs> like, at some point, it's almost like they're adding in extra things to the house to justify a level of money laundering, okay? <laughs> like, at some point, doesn't it seem like... How do we launder more money through construction costs? Uh, fireplaces. How many do we usually have in a house? Uh, one. Fuck it! Eight! Sir, there's no... Nor normally, there's no eight fire... Sir, it doesn't matter. It's my fucking house. You do it! white marble like, what just there's what? also a chandelier in nearly every room. The master suite spans 3,200 square feet alone in nearly every room. The master suite spans 3,200. That's wow. That's fucking insane, dude. That's fucking insane. <laughs> when you're so rich, you can enter literal fucking creative mode and not give a fuck. Square feet alone, including his and hers closets, his and hers bathrooms, and even his and hers offices. The home has plenty of rooms to entertain guests or yourself as well. Ha. Ah. Well, I can jack off in any room. I don't need to have a separate room for jacking off. I can entertain myself real nice. Thank you very much. Well, there's a home gym, an indoor theater, a 70-foot pool, rose gardens, and a spa. If that seems like too much to maintain, well, don't worry. There's also an additional building meant for staff on the grounds. Yeah, keep all the fucking poor people in the fucking house! Only the rich live in the good place. Keep those disgusting, disenfranchised fucks! Out of the house. Number three, 627 Carcassonne Road, Los Angeles. Six Why do they live in these shitty fucking names? Bro? Carcassonne. It's 20 okay. Number three, 627 Carcassonne Road, Los Angeles. 627 Carcassonne. Most of these are in Los Angeles, aren't they? God damn. Y'all motherfuckers be pretentious out in California. Carcassonne Road might just be the most modern, artistic home on. 
I, I I thought he said another word right there. Okay, hold on, hold on. I thought I thought okay, cool. Um, interesting. Probably the best looking house out of all of them so far. Our list, and it is also one of the most expensive, ringing in at sixty-five million dollars. No, I, I I I okay, all right, huh. Sixty-five the home million. is designed with clean shapes and lines, with as many windows as possible to keep the interior of the home open. I legitimately can't believe this is sixty-five million dollars. Like, sure, you got some razor-branded LEDs in the house, dude. Literally, it feels like every time you can overprice a house, it's just like have a regular house, just make all the walls like straight-up glass. That's immediate. Then you can like quadruple the cost of a house. It incorporates floating stairs fuck? and floating um, platforms into its design, making it much more like an art museum than a home. The home is twenty-eight thousand square feet with nine. Okay, for for an that amount of space, the home. The home maybe fifteen million, sure. But like, it, it look it, it's like somebody said it right. It looks like a fucking car dealership. Eight thousand square feet with it's nine weird. bedrooms, eight nine bedrooms. Than a home. The home is twenty-eight thousand square nine feet. Bedrooms. With nine bedrooms. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> the hookers can go home. You don't need to pay for them to stay overnight. Jesus. Bathrooms. Eighteen bathrooms. At some point, eighteen bathrooms. All right, cool. The master suite has enough space for a large couch and has a sleek fireplace. Each of the nine bedrooms has an in-suite bathroom with minimalist touches to keep things open. Though the design is stunning, it's. Whoa, whoa, with whoa, minimalist hold on, touches hold on. to keep things open. Hold on. Though the, the design <laughs> you said stunning, but you had this to fucking show. Okay. Okay there, buddy. Okay, buddy. Mine is stunning. It's the huh. amenities that drive the home's price tag way up. There's a personal hair salon. Personal hair. Like at some at some point you just don't give a fuck. A salon, a theater room, a spa, a massage room, a yoga meditation studio, uh, the coom room. Yo, a wine. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold, room, on, hold, on, spa, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Room, a yoga. Hold on, hold on. What the fuck is up with a dentist chair over here? Wait a fucking second. Why would why would you? What's going on here? Because I understand the yoga meditation shit's right here. What the fuck is going on in there? I don't think that's a massage, dog. I think they're pulling out root canals there. Whoa, wait a second. Oh, ain't, ain't, no dentist, ain't no dentist affording a house like this, boys, let me tell you. There ain't no dentist I know that's making this much. Fruits for thought, huh? A wine cellar. A bar, a facial room, and a fitness center. The outdoor patio is ready for a bougie pool party where no one swims, even though the heated infinity pool is 160 feet. No one swims here, yet they have 160 feet. This is just like, you just want to burn cash. Y'all just want to burn some cash. Do you know, you know the daily cost to upkeep this home already is in like the fucking thousands and shit probably? <laughs> for real long could you imagine michael phelps in that pool now that's some serious speed number two 10 697 no i can't imagine michael phelps because even he fucking can't afford the house soma way the runner-up for the most expensive home in bel-air is fit for a fresh prince with an astounding price tag of one dog even well maybe will smith could afford it Sure. One hundred million dollars. It's hard to imagine what the home could possibly have to make it that valuable. Nothing. It has nothing to make it that valuable. But it does have a lot to offer. Upon first glance, it's obvious this isn't an ordinary home or even an ordinary mansion. The modern Spanish villa spends forty-one thousand. Okay, that's pretty sizable. And sure. offers amenities I need to get in my own home. It's an eight-bedroom. Surprisingly, a, at least a reasonable amount, sure, maybe, for the home. size. 21. Bro, do you, like, just shit on the walls? Are you literally just shitting on the fucking walls? Like, at this point, it's too much, okay? Like, are you shitting on the walls every day that you have to use a different bathroom? Man, I have different bathrooms in my homes. I have only ever used fucking one bathroom. I have only ever used one goddamn bathroom. Jesus Christ. I don't even, I can't even imagine having 21 bathrooms. I can never imagine. 
Like, motherfucker, are you, are you shit, are you plastering your shit on the wall? That's insane. That's fucked up. And every inch of those spaces are made to be as luxurious as possible. The entire home is made of white marble and black furniture. From the chef's kitchen to the bar, the mini bedrooms feature seating areas, fireplace. Who the fuck has this goddamn seating area in the bedroom? The point of being in a bedroom is being in the bed, okay? Motherfucker, I don't put seating area in my bedroom to watch television. That's what a cuckold does. You lay in bed like a normal person, Jesus. Places and in-suite bathrooms with soaking tubs and vanities. And of course, the master suite has a walk-in closet for the owners. Bruh, that walk-in closet is bigger than some New York student's apartment. <laughs> That's fucked up. That's fucked up! <laughs> Blue Fiend is like, Muda, do you have a coom room of your own? A little bit, yeah. Notice a slick non-North Korean, my chubby Indian guy. <laughs> What's up, Muda? Thank you, Drago. Naked yoga recording is happening there for sure. You're right. Designer clothes. And while the bedrooms and bathrooms are opulent, the amenities in the home... What is so fucking opulent and about this? What's so opulent about this? The fact that this dude has like fucking fresh mints as decorations, is that opulence? Because if that's the standard we're setting, then holy fuck are they low. While the bedrooms and bathrooms are opulent, the amenities in the home are where it truly shines. There's the absurdly large wine cellar, the 36... Of course they all have a theater, guys, come theater, on. A recording studio, a wellness center with a sauna, massage room, an infinity... I'm telling you, bro, this is the coom room. You don't have a coom room this big? Unless you're like some money launderer, dog, I'm telling you. This person has to have been laundering straight up cash. I don't believe this. I don't believe it. You're telling me no one that owns a place like this has a gamer room? Bullshit. Fucking bullshit. No one here has a gaming room? Man, that's some fucking horseshit. But everyone's getting their dick rubbed in their fucking massage rooms. Right. Okay. Okay. I hope I'm never that rich that I have to use a coom room. Room, an infinity edge pool and spa with a weatherproof Samsung wall, a basketball. <laughs> a what? Infinity edge pool and spa with a weatherproof Samsung wall. The fuck is a Samsung wall? Wait, what? What the fuck is a Samsung wall? I know of a Samsung TV. They make walls now too? Okay. A basketball court and an auto gallery that holds up to 20 cars. How fucking, how small does your cock have to be, okay? That you have to stick your cars down. <laughs> no! No! I will, why would you own 20 fucking cars? Why would you own 20 cars yourself? Like, I get Jay Leno does it because he jacks off to cars, but like, man, I got, I mean, if I was fucking rich, boys, I'll be honest with you, I don't think I could have more than a car or two cars. Maybe I'd have a really nice car and then I'd buy like a Honda to save my gas. You know what I mean? What the fuck? And belongs in a car commercial. The entire home is outfitted with state-of-the-art technology, including circadian rhythm lights. Ooh. Ah. Uh. The designer was like, how do we over gouge price this motherfucker? Give him circadian rhythm lights. Whatever the fuck that means. I love those. Number one, Casa Encantada. The most. All right, let's get ready for this one. Most expensive home in Bel Air is also the most expensive property ever listed in Los Angeles as a whole. With an asking price of 200 and. Do you ever think Jeff Bezos like looks at that house and when he was married is like, hey, Mackenzie, come here. Look at what the poor people buy. It's a fucking house. It's worth 225 million. What? Okay. I wish. You guys know what I'd do if I was the richest man on the planet. I would donate money, but I would also, I would, not only would I donate my money as well too, because that's very important. You know, you can't just be this rich, but. I think what I would love to do is flex on every other hyper rich person by doing that. You know what I mean? Like if you were that rich, you know, 
I think I would love to just destroy all the pretentious losers in LA, you know? Like, you know what I mean? Like, in Los Angeles, you know how there's all those pretentious losers? So I'll give you some case examples, right? So I've been to Los Angeles, right? And when you go to Los Angeles, I think there's this little dick syndrome in the entire city, especially amongst the super rich people, who I would say 90% of LA is just... Either either they're people that have made a shit ton of money really fast and they're never going to have it. You know how, like, you have all those TikTok influencers from LA, right? That make, like a hundred thousand dollars in a year so now suddenly they think they're better than everybody when in reality a hundred thousand dollars while it's a lot means fucking nothing to actually rich people right and then so that what they do is they make a hundred grand one year and they burn the hundred grand because they're living well beyond their fucking means they're not saving their money they're not investing it that's the kind of losers you fucking meet right so when you have actual people who like they make that kind of money okay and then they like invest it and you do whatever like Honestly, with fucking money in my end, all I do is invest it and buy, like, land and shit, and it pays for itself. I'm not a financial expert, by the way. Don't listen to what I do. Um, but you meet a lot of these, like, little dick losers that are, like, hyper pretentious and shit, and it's fucking hilarious to witness them, right? Because they're, like, living in some shitty studio apartment in L.A. Like, I got a good view of the city. I'm living in a nice city and shit. And it's really cool. But they're all, like, fake rich as fuck. I don't know. But that's the kind of people you fucking... That's the kind of people you meet these days, you know? That's the kind of people you meet from there. I guess in their mind, if you're not rolling around in a Ferrari, then you must be, like, dog shit poor, right? Let me give you guys a perfect example, okay? Let me give you guys a really great example of a Lamborghini, okay? Could I go out and buy a Lambo and shit? Absolutely. Could I do it? And I'm going to be very front and honest with you guys. This is like good financial advice for you, okay? I'm not a financial expert, by the way, but this is life advice, okay? Could I go out and buy a Lamborghini? Absolutely. 100%. I can go out and I can throw the money down and I can buy one straight up, full off, you know, no, no leasing, no fucking financing. I can go right to fucking Lamborghini and I can toss them a bag of cash and be done with it, right? You know why that's really fucking stupid to buy a Lamborghini or any car of that price range? It's because those cars are depreciating assets. That Lamborghini, as soon as you buy it and you drive out the, the, the showroom, the value of the Lamborghini will drop like fifty to $60,000, okay? That's, that's literally as soon as you fucking buy the car and drive it out. That car literally loses a shit ton of its fucking value as soon as it leaves, okay? As soon as it leaves. So not only do you buy a Lamborghini, now you're burning money on owning the fucking Lamborghini, all right? Every day every day you don't drive the Lamborghini is a day you spend money to just have it sit around. Not to mention the fact that maintenance on a Lamborghini is shit. So this is why maintenance on a Lambo is shit, right? When a Lamborghini has a breakdown in anything... The fucking problem with it is that that Lamborghini is going to cost you a shit ton of money to fix up, whether it's a cosmetic thing. God forbid it's a fucking mechanical thing, right? It's a it's a terrible fucking investment to make. 100%. Now, a Lamborghini, in my opinion, is worth it if you buy it used, right? Like from some... Let's say you wanted a Lamborghini for the sake of owning a Lamborghini and driving it around. Buying it used is a lot fucking smarter than going to Lamborghini and getting fisted by Lamborghini to buy this overpriced vehicle. There's nothing wrong with buying a used Lamborghini. Most people will never even be able to afford a used fucking Lamborghini. You don't need to buy a fucking Lambo. Are you stupid? The only thing that I have found that... The only thing that makes value is buying land, buying property. That's it. You know what? You know what happens with lands? Even if the housing market fucking dies... You lose max, like, what, 5 10% of your fucking investment? It's not like a house is going to jump from, is going to slap down that hard. No, 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 no. Property retains itself. Sometimes you buy a house just because the land underneath it is better. You know? Land matters more. Why do you think... Have you ever noticed how, like, there's hyper-rich people all around you, and you never notice it because they're not burning their cash on a big-ass house? Why would you... Here's the thing about owning mansions, right? There's no reason to own a huge mansion unless you have a reason to own the huge mansion, right? The mansion already drains you of thousands of dollars a fucking day. How many rooms are you going to use? Think about it like this. I play video games and scratch my balls most days when I'm not working, okay? I only need a couple rooms. I'll buy a nice house. I'm not going to burn my cash and buy a big house. And no matter how rich I get, 
You think I'm not going to be driving a fucking nice ass Honda? You think I'm not going to be driving like a car like it? You want to know why? You want to know why I wouldn't buy a cheaper car? Because it's a lot easier to maintain that shit. When I'm, here's the problem with buying a Lamborghini. Okay. If you drive it to a fucking nice place or a grocery store, cause that's, you know, that's your car. People are going to, people are going to key your Lamborghini. You do realize that's going to happen, right? Like they're going to key your car. You don't drive a Lamborghinis out of nowhere. You don't drive a Lamborghini anywhere. They'll, they'll fucking key your car. I've seen motherfuckers key a car. I've seen people key a fucking C-series Mercedes Benz, okay? That's what it is. <laughs> you, think they're, you think they're not going to fucking piss all over your goddamn Lamborghini? Fuck yeah, it will. It happens, dog. <laughs> what the fuck? And what does a Lamborghini matters, okay? Like, at the end of the day, you're still going to get a ticket at the same speed as somebody driving any other car. That's what it is, dog. Jesus. Simple as that. I think we live in a world where people value materialistic shit too much when people should value the fucking times that they can spend with their homies. That's what it is. People value too much shit like this. It's kind of disgusting. The thing about this house is, like, most kids who, like, come across this shit... Most people who... Mo, mo, like, this is, like, this is the shit that kind of, like, you know, kids are going to be, like, falling head over heels for. They're not going to, like, sit over there and just... Mo I think most I think most level-headed people will look at this and be like, "That's a dumb fucking investment." Hundred percent. All right, super expensive house tour. I want to see a fucking tour right now. People need to value material shit less in their day. Yeah, hundred percent. Let's see this. The biggest and most expensive house in the world tour, touring a massive hundred and eighty-eight million dollar mega mansion. All right, let's check this one out. Is HelloFresh worth the price? Absolutely. In the beginning, I was doubtful too. I love how, like, like, you can't just advertise shit to me and say, is it worth it? Fuck yeah, it is, bitch. Buy it now. No. How many bathrooms are in the house? 21. 21. Okay. How many bedrooms? 12. 12. Yeah. 38,000 square feet. One helicopter. Helicopter comes with it? Yep. Got it. I mean, for $188 million, that fucking helicopter better be fucking wrapped in gold coming with it. Jesus. Oh. Thanks for getting me a uh, content ID. Yeah, yeah. Wait. Uh. 188 million dollars and you couldn't get better music than this? Fuck that. So Mark Cuban has a 300. Whoa. Whoa. Dude's living in a Minecraft house. $50 million dollar boat. Okay. He's going to use it eight times. All right. And he lives in a $30 million house. Sure. So. Um, give me Paul Allen, four hundred million dollar boat, lives in a twenty five million dollar house. Sure, doesn't make sense, right? So right. you have a boat that say is worth three fifty. The first time you go into the Mediterranean, that boat is worth three hundred million. Sure. After five years, it's worth one fifty, and after ten years, that boat's worth fifty million dollars. You buy a house in the Platinum Triangle, anywhere, right? Bel Air, Beverly Hills, Hamby Hills, and you look at any ten year period of time, and in the end of the day. Residential real estate in the Platinum Triangle has outpaced the Dow Jones and the S&P 500. Sure. Okay, dog, I'm just going to tell you right now, you're talking to a dude that burned 400 something million dollars on a fucking boat. They don't give a shit about a $20 million house. You know what a $20 million house is? Just somebody that spent $400 million on a fucking boat? Okay, the $20 million is what they buy on crack, okay? Motherfucking Viper is spending money, okay? That's Viper's crack budget you're talking about, $20 million. The fuck are you on? The fuck? What kind? Of, what kind of? What kind of life financial advice are we getting fed to a guy that's spending twenty million dollars as crack money? Okay, what? <laughs> the fuck? Right. All right, let's go check the house. Twenty-four hour armed guard security here. There's a booth that you can't see. Oh, he's got armed security, huh? Gee, I wonder what kind of people have armed security usually. Couldn't be working for no organizations that i mean i mean could you you know i feel like most people that have private security 24 7 will tell you that yeah i work for a pharmaceutical company out in um out in uh, south america yeah are we uh are we legal oh, yeah, absolutely yeah we you know we we sell a lot of um we we invest in opioids and um medicinal grade marijuana things like that Crazy. This is black quartz crystal. It was in the Angelini family. 
Man, that is the ugliest looking sink right there. God damn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the, probably the most expensive value you'll ever see in your life. This was 250,000 euros. What? For a fucking sink? $250,000 for a fucking caveman sink? Okay. Crazy. And then we carved it out and put it on a diamond prawn setting. So you're looking at like a $300,000 value. $300,000. Holy shit. Ikea sink in comparison. <laughs> what? 300k. Okay. All right, dude. That sink costs more than some people's houses. Put that into fucking perspective. For the powder room. For the powder room. Nice. Yeah. Um, so Bruce found an amazing quarry in Greece and of Honey Onyx. And then what he did was he... He made Louis Vuitton furniture out of it. Basically, yeah. Francois Renault and Bruce are the only two that own this. But Insane. Again, take the most beautiful Honey Onyx on the planet and... Make it into Louis Vuitton chest and then sandblast the Louis Vuitton logo into the chest. He can't even even he can't tolerate it. He knows he knows it's bullshit. He knows it's nonsense. How much did that Louis Vuitton eyesore cost? Let's see. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Right. I mean, there's, there's insane. 135 art installations in this house. 15% of it are designed by Bruce. So you're going to see stuff that you won't see anywhere in the world right. um, that Bruce designed and created. And this is one of those pieces. Nuts. That's, that, that, that is actually nuts. I don't know how that's worth that's anything. I guess because it's Louis yeah, Vuitton. In here. All right, you stay there. Go look at other things. Grammarly helps make your writing clear and concise, no matter where you are. Compo Lady, I just bought a $188 million house. I don't think I need Grammarly, okay? Everyone else needs it around me. That's also new. Yeah, probably the... This house has a lot of things that I've never seen before in my entire life. A lot of pointless things I've never seen in my entire life. And that's the idea behind it. Is that, yeah. you know, yeah, that, it works. the whole concept. No one's ever seen that because it doesn't exist in any other house in the world. That's such a good point. He said that doesn't exist in any other house in the world. You're absolutely right. No one is... No one should be buying $300,000 uh, sinks, okay? That would be stupid. Espresso, right. latte, and cappuccino. This, this thing has 16 different chambers. Wow. So it makes, it makes the most amazing coffees. And it's in the bedroom, in between your two closets. So you can Correct. get your espresso and then figure out what you want so to wear. Ryan, this would be your or just, just go to a Tim Hortons, dude. <laughs> Save yourself half a million. Uh, oh, this looks better. So this is a Louis Vuitton inspired closet. Does this guy just come Louis Vuitton? This, house, each one is lined in. This, this, this whole room just screams terrible investment. This whole house is like a Louis Vuitton advertisement. Are you, are you serious? Are you serious? It's, just, it's all what it is. They're literally just, it's a Louis Vuitton ad. It's done. Half the video is a goddamn Louis Vuitton ad. And suede or leather. <laughs> Nuts. Is that gorgeous? Yeah. <laughs> is that gorgeous? Yeah. Is it? Is that gorgeous? Yeah. <laughs> You've been every, I love everyone in this story. They all know it's nonsense. God bless. Crazy. So the staircase alone took two years to build. And probably somewhere around $2 billion. We've got 20 guys who, and again, this isn't... This isn't chrome, this is... Two million dollars in two years to make that staircase. Did I hear that right? I need, I need to rewind this, what? So the staircase alone took two years to build. And probably somewhere around two million dollars. Wow, my, my ears didn't deceive me. Two million dollars in two years. That, that, that definitely seems like a product of some weird creative accounting, that's for sure. What? Two years to build a staircase? Takes me five seconds to build one in Minecraft. You got scammed. You've got 20 guys who, and again, this isn't this isn't chrome. This is polished steel, and to get polished steel to this level of finish is extremely difficult to do. But again, what just <laughs> happened? I mean, right? <laughs> right? This, I mean, this isn't this isn't a staircase. This is art. Yeah. Uh, my friend, I think we have a. Well, I mean, most of high-end art is basically just, you know, money laundering, so, you know, in, in some respects, he's not so wrong, right? Is he? What? Art? The staircase is art. Nothing about that staircase said art to me, okay? Sure. Take a look up here. Again, the level of finish. This thing is anchored at the bottom. It's anchored at the top. There's zero deflection. 
Dude, it looks like some third-rate three-star hotel chain staircase. Get out of here! Get out of here! You're fleecing the customer! Again, you're looking at a $2 million staircase, but I believe it's the center of this room. That's insane. You wanna see something cool? Come yeah. outside. We've got 350 speakers in this house. We've got 200 inside. We've got 150 speakers outside. But again, we're sort of surrounded in this total privacy, which is nice. Why would you have 300 speakers in the house? Okay, 300 speakers? Are you running a concert in the house? I feel, I, I, okay, that's, that's hard. 350 speakers. I'm sorry, Chad, I was wrong. 600, they said? Three, I don't know. Way too many speakers for a house. Insane. Ah, true, fine art. Yeah, let's go stick this bottle inside this weird, like, airport game that we have going on. Yeah, that's worth, that's worth, that's worth $500,000 there, Jack. Don't you understand? This is what rich people want. Pointless looking shit. That's Jade, right? Onyx. It's probably the most expensive Onyx in the world. That piece that you're looking at there is probably a quarter million dollars. And again, like I said, developers in this town live in this stone inside their homes. My quarter million for, a f for, for that? Quarter million for that. A quarter million. You're joking, dog. You're joking. A quarter million. <laughs> and yet there's probably some way to artificially get the exact same thing. Okay. Let alone let it use it outside. outside. Yeah. Crazy. These Dom Carignan Magnums into fire extinguishers. So we have a fire in this house. You take the what? hammer. You break the glass. And put the house out. Wow, when you're so rich, even your fire extinguishers are out of the cost of the yearly income of like a professional. Jesus Christ. The, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is a meme house, okay? Like at this point, I'm watching a meme. This isn't reality, okay? Like this isn't real. Even the goddamn extinguishers are gold. A drug lord hat. Dude, they're... Dude, this is what a drug lord buys, okay? This is what Pablo Escobar buys because he has just too much money. <laughs> okay. The champagne. <laughs> That's crazy. We've got 100 bottles. And again, is your client... Wait, is that champagne? Wait, no, 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 I'm kidding. Wait, was that champagne in there? Rich people, I swear, right? To find this house, Ryan, we'll put whatever wines or spirits that he wants in here. Sure. He wants if he doesn't have a gold toilet to shit on, I'm going to be really disappointed. Insane. too much cash no <laughs> it's so bad it's terrible it's the grossest thing i've seen so far driving by the store pulled over went into the store and said to the manager you know i want to buy this camera and the guy said you know every camera in the store is for sale but not this one and bruce would say everything's for sale so after like <laughs> bruce sounds like your comic book drug lord it's like, I want to go buy this Nikon camera for my vlogs. They wouldn't sell him the display model. And they're like, you can't buy this, sir. Bruce, like, everything can be bought. And so they go in the back and it's like, how much can we charge this rich guy? Let's find out the actual quote. A half hour of negotiation, not only with the manager, but the CEO of Leica. Bruce had a flatbed waiting outside Leica in Beverly Hills. They had to take the storefront off of Leica because this was put in before they put the storefront wow. on, on the store. Brought it here by flatbed and then took it by crane and brought it through the skylight. And it landed How much? Right here. The leather business had made the strap for it. It's a one of one. It's probably worth somewhere around a million dollars. Oh, seven figures for that? I thought the rock wall was. I thought the rock wall was the dumbest shit I've seen. 
I thought the rock wall was the dumbest shit I've seen so far. A million for that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Man, dude, Ryan knows this is just some bullshit. Bonkers. You can actually see through it. I mean, I think for a million, Ryan, you should be able to see through it. That's that should, that should be it. Come on now. Behind this bar television, we have a 40-seat Dolby Atmos theater. So you're watching the Super Bowl with 40 of your closest friends or a premiere, but you're thirsty. You come out here, make a martini. And you go back. <laughs> right. Hang out at the you know, 25-foot screen and then go back in. This is what Bruce calls it. That bar just screams, <laughs> tiny cock. Addicted to luxury. So you're addicted to Louis Vuitton. To it's a Louis Vuitton ad. It's like a, this dude is literally injecting Louis Vuitton into his life. Mainline this right in the main vein. Absolutely, yo, Ryan's my man. I love Ryan. Ryan's such a likable protagonist in this entire depressing romp. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're addicted to Hermes or addicted to Rolls Royces, uh, Porsches. I uh I I, th I think this is uh I think I think the imagery here I don't want to like psychoanalyze too hard, but uh, what I I want to know what the owner does. There's certainly a lot of certainly a lot of free basing going on for my liking here. Uh, it's a little it's a little too much. It's a little too much. Addicted to Ferraris. Here it is. One more cool piece of art from here. More than fifty cars. I mean. If you have a million dollar crappy camera, then what are, what are 50 cars at this point, right? There's just about a dozen of them here. Crazy. It is very crazy indeed. It's a four million dollar Bugatti. This is the world's fastest electric motorcycle in the world. It's called the Sora. It's on five episodes of Hawaii 5 okay. That's how you start. Billionaire, 924 Bel Air Road. <laughs> This guy, yo, 100%, the guy who, this has to, this has to be the best, this has to be the richest GTA Online player you've ever found. <laughs> okay. I don't think the cars ever go anywhere. I think they just have the car sitting there for the sake of it. From zero to 120 in less than three seconds. Thank you, John Smith. This is a Dolby Atmos Appreciate theater. That. It's the absolute best residential or commercial application in a movie theater. In the of course, every rich person has a theater in their house. I'm not going to knock him for that, okay? Everyone has a theater. World. Okay. Uh, we've got a Christie D cinema projector, which today is the absolute best projector you could buy. Uh, we've got 57 speakers in here and 16 subwoofers. Each one of them is on its own channel. Nobody is allowed to talk shit. This dude has like 350 speakers just around the house, okay? No one. Yeah, the same night he came out of Hollywood. Just because you live in the area? No, just because we're part of it, this, this Bel Air circuit. It's like a club. Yeah. Oh, crazy. It's very expensive to join. It's like joining an expensive country club, but at the end of the day... But you get the movies the night they hit the theater. Right. So having 40 of your closest friends to watch a movie that's coming out that night. All this money spent, and a man could have just used Pirate Bay. <laughs> Lamau. <laughs> could it be me? It's a lot easier than going downtown. That's crazy. Yeah, so we put together a three-minute demo for you. So Why is he so stuck on the 40 years of your closest friends? That's a little too much. I don't have 40 people at my house all the time. Oh, no, I can't watch this. The movie hasn't been released yet. I think I'm going to get... No, 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 no. We're getting out of here. Hey. Hey. The market for $188 million. The world. Sean Elliott, thank you so much. You're welcome, buddy. Right. On the market for $188 million. Thank you. $188 million. Somehow cheaper than one of the other houses we Craziest saw. Craziest thing. Like I, I, actually, I actually, I feel sad leaving right now. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, because this is I, unlike anything I've ever seen in my entire life. It's like getting off a mega yacht. That's exactly what you said. That feeling when you get off the boat, you're like, oh, I have to go back to my regular life. That's how I feel right now leaving this house. Like regular life is yeah. sad yeah. compared well, to this. I feel bad for you, but you know what? Come back anytime. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks, man. Come back anytime. It's not like the owner lives here, right? <laughs> What is this? That's too much. That's too much. I can't. I can't do it. That's way too much. That's an. Ex that's too expensive. That's a hundred and eighty-eight million dollar house, guys. But hey, if you have forty of your closest friends, you can watch some movies together. Jesus Christ. That was one of the most toxic flexes I've ever seen. My God.
I would say the the wildest thing was the movie. Why have forty of your friends in the same movie theater in your house when you can just when you can just screen share on Discord to begin with, right? Jesus Christ, guys, save yourselves, save yourself a couple millions of dollars and do it intelligently. Jesus, got forty of your closest friends. Oh, who? This is why you should never pity or trust rich people. I feel like if you're the kind of, like, I feel like if you're the kind of person that buys a house this expensive, you're not making your money in the right way. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't think if you buy a house this expensive, you're making your money the right way. You know? Like, I have to imagine that if I'm sitting down here as somebody who's, like, making a shit ton of cash, I don't think I could spend money on a $300,000 sink, guys. I don't think I could ever do that. $300,000 sink. Okay. Okay. Sure, man. That's way too much. That's a lot of fucking money. Watch Ryan's latest video. It's an entire fucking island. Oh, is it Epstein's Island? <laughs> Inside the most expensive private island I've ever seen. Whoo, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> He said there's one, like, Beverly Hills Mansion has a quarter million dollar tree. Jesus. Hey, Muda, did you get vaccinated? I did, in fact, get vaccinated, boys. Thank you, Essendon, for showing up. Thank you, Rock Animations. Thank you, Cool Stuff. Get Wrecked, Mysterious Senor. Core Dream Studios. Hope all's going well. It is going well. Sorry I couldn't, like, read up to you guys' chats here real quick. We were just really, like, witnessing this level of cringe. That is a lot of cringe. That is actually a f that is actually a lot of cringe right now. It's too much. That is too much. Ban anyone who criticizes my gameplay. Are we doing Wings of Redemption memes in my chat here, audience? Okay. All right. Let's let's be stop here. Okay. Let let's let's be stop. Let's stop with the Wings of Redemption shit. God damn. I feel feel genuinely bad. Catch a pre I don't think we can watch to catch a predator here. That's a little too much. Uh, uh at least for YouTube right here. Getting. Because I think you can get content ID'd for it, and it would, like, kill the stream. Mm. Did you see that Ice got a strike on his channel? What? Ice Poseidon got a strike on his channel for what? IRL at Disney. See if I can profit trade the worst... Cr oh, dude. This is why... Wait, what? He didn't get, he didn't get like... What? Oh, hold on, hold on. No, 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 stop. He probably has it on Twitter or something mentioned. Let me see this. Um, he's not mentioning a strike. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I think he would have mentioned a fucking strike. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he's. I don't think he did a strike, guys. I don't think he got one of these. Um, but can you do gambling live streams? Uh, no, because YouTube has a. It's against YouTube's TOS. Which, I just want to say something for the record. I don't understand shit like gambling. I'm sure this is going to be kind of a weird hot take for a lot of people. But gambling is fucking stupid, okay? Can we just, can we, can we kind of like come to the understanding that gambling is really fucking stupid? Because I think gambling is the dumbest shit that I've ever seen. No, 100%. I'm going to be real with you, okay? I think, I think throwing your cash up to, to like, I, I think the entire concept is really stupid. Like, to be real with you working my ass off to get money and then putting it on the line is some real dumb shit why the fuck wouldn't i just spend my money to go do wild shit in real life i understand people say gambling is like some weird thrill right like where you get you know what i mean like gambling is like you get this thrill of like making money or, or like losing it it's like that thrill but like at the same time dog no it's a bad thrill to have okay because people that get addicted to that shit they end up they end up hurting themselves the most and then people around them all the time all right simple as that is it like the stock market and everything i guess if you invest you know stupidly yeah sure but at least with an investment you know that you can make a somewhat level-headed understanding gambling is literally all just luck based shit okay jesus christ that's what it is like you, you know why when i go when i went to vegas they had these big mega casinos right like fucking these super mega opulent casinos and i never went to any of them to gamble simply because it seemed really fucking stupid you want to know why because how the fuck do you think vegas gambling houses are going to run 
uh, when people are winning. They're not designed to make you fucking win. No, 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 ladies and gentlemen. No, 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 no. Those Vegas gambling houses, those Vegas gambling fucking like uh, g- g- casinos, they're designed to fuck you. And literally, you're going to an entire city like Las Vegas where its gambling lineup was literally invested into by the fucking mob, okay? You think the mob wants you to fucking win? All right, maybe for some losses to report to the IRS, but that motherfucker, you do not go to a casino in Vegas and expect to win, all right? If you do, you're about to lo- The house motherfucking always wins. Simple as that. You winning to a casino is literally entitled into their taxes as loss, like just loss prevention shit like that. <laughs> it's dumb, dude. I, I, I personally, listen, I'm not here to tell you that gambling is like something you should or shouldn't do. I don't endorse or promote it and I don't really like it myself, okay? I think it's fucking stupid. Simple as that. I, I, think, I, think, I think it's dumb. Simple. When is the toe reveal? The toe reveal. Ooh. One of those, aren't I? Whew. This is why I stick to gotcha games. This is why, this is why most people do stick to that gotcha shit. Does Muda prefer yes man? No. If you went to MIT, you are already pre-banned from most mega Vegas casinos. Really? Oh, well, that's fucked up. That is messed up. Let's look at Gotcha Life cringe. I wonder if Gotcha Life if it has any update. Gotcha Life 18 plus actually. Oh wait, I can't even play these on videos, can I? Oh yeah, I can't play Gotcha Life videos on YouTube, guys. It would get me fucking. It would get me a strike on the channel. Want to know why? Because some of these Gotcha Life videos are like really fucked up. Some of these Gotcha Life videos are just straight like gangbang, like necrophilia shit. It's messed up. It's messed up. I'm telling you, dude. It's messed up. It's wrong. $500 million house. I I don't want to watch 35 minutes of this. I'd rather watch this for a video and like cut this shit down for you. This sounds really, this just sounds really goddamn dumb. That's $500 million for anything like a house. Just fucking insanity. It's what it is. Just insanity. Okay. It's like, it's funny because when you go to Gotcha Life 18 plus, everyone who makes videos for that is literally under 18 plus. Okay. Literally under 18 plus. What's up with Darman? Let's see. Let's see what's up with good old Darman. Am I going to learn something with Darman here real quick? Oh boy. Darman. So I love Darman because he's like, this is like a kid approved family friendly channel. But, uh, let's, let's go around. Boyfriend, fat shames, girlfriend. Okay. Rich people taught lessons by poor people. Huh. Girl gets laughed at by student who can't spell. Man, there's a lot of... So in the Darman universe, everyone in this universe is basically good if they're rich, okay? If you're poor, fuck yourself. Popular girl humiliates disabled girl. The fuck? Well, let's watch this one. How do you, let's see let's see okay let's see let's let's get down here oh my gosh look there's noah he's so hot i heard he rejected madison to the prom i wonder who he's gonna ask uh me duh he's the quarterback and i'm captain of the cheerleading team oh that's just a match made in fucking heaven i see well goddamn with that kind of logic how could we lose it only makes sense hey watch where you're going i'm so sorry angela it was an accident. You better be sorry, wheelchair Wendy. <laughs> oh, no. You don't do that. You don't do that. That's that's fucked up. <laughs> wheelchair Wendy. What, what a guy. Don't they have special lanes for people like you? <laughs> special lanes. Anyway. <laughs> we made fun of a cripple, Lamal. Let's get laid. I'm going to go talk to Noah. I'll talk to you later. Alright, good luck. To be fair, to be fair, Wheelchair Wendy knew which direction she was going, right? Wheelchair Wendy had a whole lane to go through, but she chose to drive over the foot of this girl. She knew. She knew. Hey, Noah. You look handsome today, and I love that jacket. Hey, thanks, Angela. So, prom's coming up soon. Uh-huh. Have you figured out who you're taking? No, not yet, but 
Wait, this is high school? You must be on a seventh victory lap. I did have something special in mind. Oh, how cute. So, does that mean you're asking? Damn. Can't you do anything right? Uh, Go and I'm, help I'm her! I'm so sorry. She um, dropped her books. Go help her! Oh, come on. You, how do you what, watch what do you that happen? That? No, how do you watch that because your legs don't happen? work doesn't mean your arms don't work. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. She's so mean. She's like the worst. I'll help you, Wendy. Thanks, your no. chances of boning this guy is significantly reduced. How dare it's not you? A problem. Hey, um, I know this is probably a long shot, but uh, since prom is coming up, would you want to go with me? <laughs> you have to be kidding. You really think the captain of the football team is going to go to prom with someone like you? Well, I... Ooh. Angela, that was Ooh. really mean. Oh, come on. I'm just being honest. So why don't you walk? I mean, oh! wheel your way on out of here. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. He has one opportunity to get this right. He has one opportunity to pull off the 80s classic move. If he doesn't say, sure, Wendy, let's roll, then, then we have lost, okay? We have lost the writing script powers of Darman. How can you say something like that to her? Oh, come on, why do you keep sticking up for her? You missed the opportunity. You missed the opportunity. I'm done. Because I know what it feels like to be in her shoes. You see, a few years ago, I took a really bad hit. Oh. When I was playing football. I was he had to ground. sit in a wheelchair for like one day. I couldn't get up. When I got to the hospital, the doctor told me that I wouldn't be able to walk for a really long time. Four days. Doc told me I was gonna sit like this for four days. I don't know how I could live with myself. So I ended up in a wheelchair. But do you know what hurt even more? How other people would treat me. <laughs> dude, why is everyone in this school like anti cripple, dude? What is. Yo, what is this? Why did I grow up in a totally different high school? Like, damn, son. <laughs> They'd stop and stare and make me feel like I was beneath them. And at that point, I realized that making fun of crippled people wasn't right. I spent six years of my right of my life ripping on crippled people until I one day became crippled. And now I knew it wasn't funny anymore. So you see, I know what it feels like to be in a wheelchair. <laughs> okay. And Wendy doesn't deserve to be treated that way. Wow. I had no idea you went through any of that. What what message was passed? Wait, what message did he pass? Yeah, I was in a wheelchair too. It fucking sucked, by the way. Wow. You went through that? Oh my god, that's so bad. What what message was passed? You literally had an example in front of you rolling around. What is this? What is this? I'm so sorry, Noah. You don't owe me an apology. You owe it to Wendy. Just next time before you judge someone in a wheelchair, try sitting in one. Damn! That's the message. That's the message. Thanks oh my god, I almost thought she started walking for a second. A problem with me. Oh, hey Wendy. You look really pretty in that dress. Oh, uh, thanks. So do you. Look. I've been meaning to talk to you. I feel really bad about how I treated you a few days ago. Do you think you could forgive me? You didn't, you didn't apologize. Wait, 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 no, no, no. The answer was, I'm sorry for making fun of you for being crippled. It was a terrible thing to say. Not, can you just forgive me? No, 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 no. I want to hear the whole thing. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Of course. Wendy, Thanks. don't be Canadian about this. If Make her mention date, it. You can come hang out with us. Yeah, oh, no one uh, liked us actually. either. These are for you. Of course. Wow, you look. You can tell the Absolutely. twists on these videos from a mile away. Thank you. No, 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 please. Oh. Allow me. 
<laughs> she hasn't learned her lesson. Hundred bucks, if a car was coming by, she'd jump in front of it just so she could be in the wheelchair, and then he would take her out for the date. Hundred bucks, that's the lesson not learned, okay? Hundred dollar bet. Hundred bucks, straight up. Hey, Darman fan, make uh, sure to subscribe to my channel. Will do indeed, Darman. <laughs> Wait, what's the message? He didn't give the message. He didn't give the message. What was the message? Don't make fun of cripples. It's bad. There you go. You guys, you guys got your message. Don't make fun of cripple people. It's pretty bad. It's not the right thing to do. Huh? Well, shit. God damn. All right, let's go look at more here. Actually, Dar Darman, Darman, nerds get made fun of. What happens next? Oh shit! Please install our malware. You get the invite to my graduation party? No. Why is he just straight up talking to him like he's about to give him the hottest crack pipe of 2020? It's a 20-minute video. Sure. Oh, it's like a piece. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Oh my god! You don't do that. You don't do that. You don't do di you don't do discount Zac Efron like that dirty, bro. Come on. You don't print out some MS Paint invite. Okay, class. That's it for today. I finished grading your test from last week. You can just grab them on the way out. Oh, and don't forget, tomorrow is your final report on the Darman book. It is worth. That is the best merch advertisement ever! That caught me off guard so hard. That on that honestly caught me off. I had to have like a three second like freeze frame on myself and my soul. <laughs> fifty percent of your grade. Damn, dude, Darman must be like incredible in this universe to be fifty percent of a grade. Great work, young man. This class is like the worshiping of Darman. Did they swipe his homework? Keep it up. No way. Billy, um, could you just hang out for a sec? I'd like to talk to you. Oh. Uh, yeah. Sure. Damn. Billy's in trouble. Arthur, I am very impressed by you, young man. You got an A plus. Excellent work. Thank you, Miss Henry. <laughs> he talked about how much Darman changed his life and saved his parents' marriage. Billy, you got an F on the exam. <laughs> Lamau, what a dipshit. <laughs> How do you fuck up grammar that hard? Couldn't be me. Did you even study? Yeah, I did. I just I didn't think it'd be this hard. I'm worried about you. I'm not sure if you're going to pass this class. And if you don't pass this class... You're not going to graduate. Do you understand? Yes, Miss Henry. You need to get an A on your report tomorrow. How bad is your grade point average that you need the absolute slingshot luck to get the highest grade to win? My God, this dude did not care in English. Jesus. So please, do a really good job on it, okay? No, honey, I'm not saving $600. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Homework. Oh, wow. You got an A+. Plus. Man, you really are a nerd. Come on, Billy, give it back. You want it back? Fine. You got it. Whoa! There. Billy, no! Go. Aw, oh, dude, Billy, that is messed up. You crumpled a so, piece of paper. About to report this due tomorrow. I'm going to need you to do it for me. No, I, I, I can't do that. That would be cheating. I, what? I, I, no, that would be wrong. <laughs> That's not halal. <laughs> Did you say? Please, I, I have to do my own book report. I, I won't have time to Look, do both. Look, you don't have a choice. Because if I don't get an A, then I'm not going to graduate. And we don't want that to happen. Okay, Billy, you're in high school English. Not the Sinaloa drug cartel. Let's, we're pushing it a little bit, Chief. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, Darman, the writing needs to be a little better if I'm going to believe this shit. Do we? 
So what's it gonna be? Fine, I'll do your book report for you. Oh my god. <laughs> but I, I want you to know that if you cheat, you'll never get ahead. Oh, that's 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 the quote. That's the quote. Ten bucks. Yeah, yeah. whatever. Sounds like something a loser would say. Haha, -ha, now I should fail English, my primary language, because I'm so intelligent. Haha. -ha. See you later, nerd. Arthur goes home and immediately starts working on Billy's book report. After working really hard, uh, yeah, it's a Darman thing, a lot right? Of hours, he finally finishes it. By the time Arthur is about to start working on his own book report, his eyes start to get really heavy. So heavy that before he knows it, Arthur falls asleep. Arthur wakes when up, changes the name, and up, goes to class. It's already 7.45 a.m. Arthur didn't get to finish his own book report. He rushes off to school, now worried about whether he's even going to graduate. Uh, wait, Arthur's not the one failing. Billy is. Unless they're, unless they're both bad. Where have you been? Class is about to start. You got my book report? Yeah, it's right here. I stayed up all night working on it, and I didn't even get to do my own. Aww. <laughs> Lamau, I don't care. Go fail. Epic poggers. <laughs> Really <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you can't you can't write this shit up. That's the best. Oh my god. Oh man, I love Billy. Billy's a goddamn Chad. See you later, loser. <laughs> it just keeps going. Hey, Miss Henry. I finished my book report. I uh, spent all night finishing it, and I think you're gonna be really impressed. Oh, I'm really happy to hear that, Billy. Why don't you just hold on to that for now? Oh, she already knows. Hey, Arthur. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Henry. Uh, look, about the book report. We'll talk about that in a moment. You can go ahead and have a seat. Woo, okay. Miss Henry already knows. Miss Henry's hacked into the computer last night. She saw Arthur through the webcam. Listen, she knows. I feel really bad. So, uh, since you won't be graduating, you can come to my graduation party <laughs> instead. Dog, Billy's, Billy's <laughs> based, bro. I don't know who I should be supporting anymore. Everyone just turned in their book reports. But this time, I decided to switch it up a little bit. So instead of turning them in, I'm going to have each one of you Present them to the class. Who wants to go first? Uh, How's that scary? Just go and read the story. Billy! Oh, she knows! She knows! She's, very excited She's about like it. a god in the Darman universe. Oh, She's a mage. She knows. Okay. God, a level 99 mage teacher figures out the bullshit that happened. No, honey, leave. Darman is an inspirational content creator <laughs> who oh, oh, please. I don't want you to read the report. I want you to describe it. Oh, base, dude. Um, Yo, this teacher's kick ass. Dar Darman. Just make up anything. Darman has a 12 inch donger. Just say whatever, dude. Inspirational content creator. Darman saved my parents' who, marriage. Who, who believes in. What's wrong, Billy? Oh! Read the book. Right? Oh. <laughs> Yo, I love I this. Oh, really? Darman was born in 1962 no, 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 in America, no, 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 the greatest no, 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 country I, I, ever I made. About. I, I, I know. Billy, oh, shit. be honest. I know you didn't write that book report. You see, I came across your graduation invites. Wait, what? So I rushed out to give them to you. Just in time to overhear your conversation with Arthur. So you didn't you didn't step out right there and then when when it was getting a physical altercation, I just sort of sat there and watched. Now that's the part of the Darman writing I can completely understand regarding a teacher. Okay. Where you forced him to do your book report for you, even though he told you it was cheating. So you see, I know you didn't read the book. 
or do your own reports. Damn. You won't be needing these anymore. Oh! -ho -ho! Wait, wait, what did that say? What did that say? Hold on a second. You won't be needing these anymore. Uh, I love when I put the address to my house is my crib. I love that. That's the best part. I love that, man. Hey, guys, don't worry, dude. You want to know where my house is located? My crib. So that teacher is gorgeous as hell, though. To the principal's office instead. No, no, please, please, please. please. Lamau! Teacher's you like, you're getting epic suspended, Pog, you. <laughs> Don't hit oh, yourself on the way out, Kek W. If you actually read the book, you would have learned in chapter one that if you cheat, you never get ahead. Okay. Don't worry, buddy. You only got five minutes left. Arthur? Would you like to present your book report now? I would love to. <laughs> Wait, there's no... Dude, they, Darman leaves out all of the stuff. Ah! Darman leaves it out. I hate it. Darman literally leaves out everything from the story. I hate that. He leaves out the message at the end. What was the message? What was the message there, huh? Those who cheat never get ahead. I mean, if he bullied him like six seconds faster, he would have gotten away with it. You guys do realize the message isn't as important as the fact that Billy is a dumb bully. Billy couldn't have been so obvious. Billy could have literally have... If Billy had bullied six seconds faster, if Billy had did a glitchless any percent on the bullying, he would have won and the teacher wouldn't have figured it out. She'd have been like, all right, whatever, you're graduating. All right, Arthur, you failed. Dumbass. Come on now. Come on. Come on. <laughs> What kind of answer is that? Billy's a dipshit. Billy's a fucking idiot, though. I feel like I might upload these as highlights on the channel, if you guys are down for it. I hate uploading highlights, because I'd rather make a full-on video, but I think once a week, if the highlight is good enough, I might just post it on YouTube, like I did with my pinball game. Ugh, let's go see something over here. Let's go see something. Does, uh, does Darman talk about drugs? Oh. Oh, this is a real good one. I've seen this, by the way. I've seen this shit. Dishwasher. Actually, no. If I upload a, if I upload a Darman video, I don't want to upload it as a stream highlight because I think these feel really cheap. Like, cheap in the sense that I feel like I just want to edit the whole thing a little better. So I think I'm just going to, like, if I do a Darman video, I'm just going to, like, edit this together so it looks better versus, like, just a highlight like if you want to see a highlight there's like a legit highlight channel i think i'm just gonna do it normally over here because I, I don't think this is like like i don't think this is i don't know i'd rather just make a full video so i can describe this better because i'm doing the same thing with fucking um viper um so anyway let's go use less than 15 liters of water per cycle while a running sink uses that every two minutes though i do definitely want to dig out some fucking memes from here Oh, those are drugs, huh? Audience, I want you to remember, for Darman for Darman to get the green Dolan on YouTube, this is what drugs are, apparently, in the universe, okay? Now, I don't know what kind of Fisher-Price crack cocaine you're doing. That ain't no drugs I've ever seen. Right here in your classroom. Just keep an eye out for anyone who looks suspicious. Oh, I will, all right. 100%. Oh, of course he's... Yep, there you go. That's your definition of suspicious in the Darman universe. Black kid with a hoodie. There you go. I'll make sure we catch him. Billy ain't been the same since he failed high school. <laughs> Billy be on that good drugs. Here's some crash for drugs. Morning, yeah. Everyone, bring me your home. Man, this is like a rich kid school. You got like nine students. Mm, okay. Karen, um, I'm sorry, I don't have my homework, but I brought you this apple. Oh, Adam. Ah, the old produce trick. Bite the teacher at her lack of a salary, huh? I know you only make $35,000 a year, miss. I know you can't afford fresh fruit. Let me buy you fresh fruit, okay, for lunch this time. I see, I see how it is. I see how they're, they're hitting her where the, so, they're hitting her at the social, social level. I see, I got it. You are so sweet. 
do Why it. not? <laughs> I make jack shit as a teacher anyways, unfortunately, might as well. Marcus? Where's your homework? Don't tell me you didn't do what you had all week. Marcus has been getting wasted on Flintstone vitamins. Give him a break. Look, I'm really sorry. I just... Anytime a kid talks like that in high school, you become his great fucking friend because he's the one... You, you never want to be on that kid's bad side. Holy shit. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I've been really busy the last couple days. Busy. Smoking crack! Look, can, can I please just have one more day to finish it? No. Damn! You an Damn! I love her. She's so she's so based and level-headed. Right. By the way, when I was in school, you wish you could get away with wearing glasses like that. This teacher yelled at me for wearing a hat once. Can you believe that shit? A hat? Class, who can solve for X? Maybe someone sure, it's not too hard. It's while? high school algebra. Let's go. Marcus? <laughs> Marcus straight past. Marcus dreaming of. Uh, Marcus is dreaming of Wilma right now. <laughs> He's passed the fuck out, dude. Were you sleeping in my class? No, no. Wait. Oh, yeah. Look, I, I didn't get much sleep last night. Hmm. Because hmm. you were out partying. Why? Dog, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on. So. Uh, that's Linus Tech Tips, bro. Come on. That's Linus. I got another crack quickie for you. Today we're going to learn about how Flintstones get you wasted. That's a... Uh, that's a tech quickie right there. It's a... Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, dude. <laughs> Linus Tech Tips is for the kids. Linus Drug Tips is for the adults. <laughs> Kidding. Uh. All right, let's go solve the mouse solve for X, I guess. Let's see. Uh, it is not that oh my god, he had like three seconds to answer it. <laughs> Take some Flintstones vitamins, you bitch. Jesus. I, don't, I know, I'm just... I'm having a really hard time concentrating. Uh -huh. I'm on LSD. <laughs> Well, you got those sunglasses Take them off. off. Take the sunglasses oh, off. <laughs> no? Okay. Go ahead and remove your hood and your sunglasses. Look at me. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. My boy Mark has got 100% Colombian in him and it ain't no coffee, that's for sure. Oh no. Oh no. I've gotten like no sleep. And, and what, what happened was. Oh, I, I was knew it was you. What? What was me? First, you don't turn in your homework. Then, you fall asleep in my class. And you come up here with these bloodshot eyes. Admit it. You're on drugs. Damn! He's on such, he's on, and now he's not on drugs. <laughs> Look at the eyes. He's just good. He's fine, dude. Man, I can't wait for the Darman video. Mudahar goes to the airport. You won't believe who gets anally fisted. <laughs> okay. On drugs? I've never done drugs in my life. Oh, uh-huh. The janitor found drugs in this classroom. And it was obvious. Oh no, Zach Efron's been getting high on Flintstones. No. Whose they were. You know, you should really just ask before assuming. That's 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 the line. Mm -hmm. That's enough. You're going to the principal's office. Adam? Uh, I, I love I love how I love how that was her standard. Like, we found drugs. Clearly, Marcus, you're the one that's uh, not like the other kids, so we know who's doing the drugs. Basic racial profiling. Come up here and solve the problem for the class. Uh, yeah, no problem at all. I might get high on discount LSD, but I can still do my math. Yo. 
Thank you. Oh, dude, the hot ass teachers here again. Thank you for coming in, Mrs. Wesson. We haven't been able to get a hold of your husband yet, but we can go ahead and start. Uh, there's no easy way to say this, but we found out that your son is on drugs. What? <laughs> what? No. No, there's no way. Marcus would never. That's what I said. <laughs> Marcus doesn't do crack. We're a pure heroin family here. How dare you accuse us of being like that viper fella? He fell asleep in class. His eyes <laughs> it's so subtly right racist. It's fucking wild how this is a, a kid's thing. Of other facts. Bro, she's got 2001 FBI crime stats on her mind. You're never changing the way that she thinks. She's she she she's one of those Facebook moms, you know? Well, that's just because She's like one of those dudes who are like, "I'm not a racist, but, you know, and they're like, you know, you know when motherfuckers come up to you? You know, you know when like somebody comes up to you and shit and they're like, "I'm not a racist, but" They always have to add that but at the end, you know what I mean? They always gotta add that butt at the end for some fucking reason. It's like, you know, every time they have, like, a fucking woman in a video game, there's, like, all the nerds come out from, like, from, from like, the depths of the internet, and they're like, Okay, guys, I'm just saying, um, I like to play as a boy. <laughs> okay. And one of the, I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm sexist, okay, but. <laughs> like, what, dude? What? I was on Twitter yesterday and everyone was bitching about a pride parade or something like that. I was like, dog. <laughs> I play video games every time a parade happens, regardless of whatever context. I'm just saying. Motherfuckers get angry all the time, dude. If you go on Facebook, though, Facebook is like where there's definitely some like... The, Facebook has 99% of the fucking dipshits on Facebook are the exact kind of people who are like, I'm not racist, but... Huh. Ooh. <laughs> but he has a lot going on at home. But I Let's see what's going on at home. To do with drugs. Look, I know that no mother wants to believe that their child is abusing substances. Maybe we should wait until Marcus's father gets here. Marcus's father isn't coming. Oh, she, she knows, she knows, she knows why. She, in her head, she's like, this is just like my Facebook group. Huh. Huh. <laughs> A minority family and the father's absent. Hmm. Just like what the grandmas on Facebook were talking about. She knows. She's, she's got, she's got that thought in her head. She's not saying it. She ain't saying it, but she knows. <laughs> Okay. Is he going out to get milk? <laughs> One of those. All right. No, it's not. You see, Marcus and his father <laughs> have always been close. If you ever asked him, he'd always say that he had the best dad in the world. Is that? Who's that guy on YouTube? The guy who's like fucking Badlands Chugs! Oh my god! Dude, I feel like that's Badlands Chugs. He's like my favorite channel. You don't know if you don't know who Badlands Chugs is, he's the guy that like will pour a shit ton of Mountain Dew and just chug that motherfucker to no end, dude. He is the funniest fucking dude you'll ever find. I love Badlands Chugs. It, but it's that's not Badlands Chugs. Like that's that's not him. He just reminded me of him, so let's go. But what he didn't know is that father wasn't the very best husband <laughs> dad's on straight up tinder <laughs> at the dinner table <laughs> what a based guy why would you be swiping right he's like i don't understand it dog he's got like a hot ass wife right here dude bro you're literally giving ammunition to incel wiki okay all right you know like he's got a hot ass wife his wife's hotter than let's look at that uh, God damn. She's got a gorgeous way. What the fuck? What a savage. What a I'm savage. Behind my back. <laughs> He's not even trying to hide it. That's the greatest part. He's not even trying to hide it. W full respect, though. He is flipping through more than one image instead of just auto-swiping right. He's, he's got he's got some he's got, he's got some class, I guess. 
He was seeing other women behind my back. Oh, of course he was. I How could you cheat on me? Bitch, get out! Marcus I'm trying to get laid! Get out! I'll see you at home! Anyways, forget this crackhead. Let's fuck. <laughs> Mom knows. Mom's like, I want I want you to root. I want this to- No. No shame. No shame. Darn man, don't fuck around. So you see? The reason Marcus hasn't slept and why his eyes are all red is because his dad left yesterday. You weren't crying. Someone splashed water on your face. Let's not fucking lie. <laughs> Let's not lie. And Marcus and I were up all night crying. For real? You should be fucking lining up some nice-ass divorce papers, babe. You got half the money right there. I'm so sorry, Mrs. West. <laughs> Look at Karen! Oh, she's like, huh, typical families, typical minority. Can you imagine? Bro, she's like, she, she, wanted, she wanted it. She's really, she is really pulling off the subtle races so hard right now. I, I gotta be real, like, we joke on their acting, but, like, those facial animate, th those animate, those facial, like, uh, acting is there, dude. She knows. We had no idea you and Marcus were dealing with all that. It's okay. Of course you wouldn't. Honestly. Her name is Karen. I love this, dude. I'm just worried about him. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry as well. Oh, she's about to learn her fucking lesson. Just watch. It doesn't watch. change the fact that we found drugs in the classroom. And I know they belong to your son. Damn! No. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm trying to tell you. They weren't mine. There is no way. Those were not his. Wait, couldn't he, like... Couldn't he, like, take a drug test? Wait, so I don't... Couldn't he, like, taken a drug test and when that comes back, they could punt? I don't know. Whatever, it's a school, dude. I'm looking too My deep into the story. Does not do any drugs. <laughs> well, if they were Thanks, Sora Karai. Then who's Watch they your laugh compilations. Oh man, Jet's like ED proof. In the bathroom. Oh, Zac Efron was getting fucking high on Flintstones. What? Adam? No. No, Adam could Adam couldn't do drugs. <laughs> no. That could that could no. That goes against what I read on Stormfront. No. Look at her face. She's like, no. No, that can't be possible. This must be a mistake. I caught him red-handed. Well, let's take him to the security office. This isn't fair. Let me go. Come with me. <laughs> oh, damn. Security office. I swear to call the goddamn cops. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> my entire world view is shaking. How could he? Huh. I thought it was you this whole time. I kept trying to tell you. I should have asked. Instead of assuming. I am so sorry, Marcus. Maybe, maybe the lesson here is... Maybe the lesson here, lady, isn't so much you should ask before you assume. Maybe it's to not racially fucking profile people based on things they can't control. Maybe that's the lesson. I'm just saying. See, honey, she learned. She'll get there. Maybe they're quite. No, no, darn man, no. Maybe she'd be. Don't be a fucking racist. How about that? How about that, huh? How about that? All right, we'll watch one more here. Uh, we've already seen the autism one. I've already seen the mom accuses sons. Actually, if you thought this shit was subtly racist, this is fucking even worse. Okay, are you guys are you guys ready to see some like real? This is like you can tell the mom like literally like th this makes Paul not look as racist in comparison. All right, that's fucked up to say. All right, let's watch this. So already they're playing some boring ass Xbox 360 games. Uh, for some reason they're playing Guitar Hero 2. Not bad. Why the fuck you'd be playing Mercenaries 2 World in Flames? Pretty gross. Oh, find you! Ah, <laughs> they got me, they got uh. me! Come res me, come res me! Raiden, what is this? Your report card says you've got a C in math. Wait, what is- Cause he's doing drugs! Didn't we watch the last video? What's he doing here? Oh. 
<laughs> what is what is he doing here? I think that's enough to let you guys I think that's enough to let you know that Tarman's in his wild ass shit. What's he doing season. here? Huh. <laughs> I love I love that. Though to be fair with you, it's not as bad as like this other channel that uh that I've come across here. I actually thought this guy had like lost his channel or whatever. You guys ever like window one of these like pickup channels? Like this is like Coach Red Pill. Have you ever seen Coach Red Pill's channel? Yo, you know, like this is the thing. I I get like we have to keep our channels so like PC and shit, and like you know we have to we have, we have to keep it pretty PC nowadays. And then you come across shit like this where it's like American women are boy <laughs> a Coach Red Pill production. You can't handle a real woman. Dog moms. The difference between gold diggers. I think let's 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 walk let's 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 take let's let's look at the red pill side of things. It's a whole sermon, by the way, and we're not watching all eighteen minutes. Okay, we're gonna watch a bit of it, and we're gonna laugh, and then we're gonna fuck off. American women are garbage. And <laughs> Damn, dude, keeping it ready in like five seconds in. Okay, all right. And in this video, I'm going to explain why. Bro, why why look this smug? <laughs> why are garbage and oh in man, this right video, off and do it. To explain why. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? What is this? What? You say that? We oh yeah, this this is this is where you want to get your dating advice from. Women are garbage. You have to give good reasons, or not so much good reasons, as to how the state of affairs came- No, you don't have to give good reasons or anything. No, 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 fuck that. Let's talk about state of affairs. Pass. <laughs> okay. Now, you're a guy, presumably, right? Now, I am a guy. 97% of my audience are guys. I always say this. And so you, as a guy, you come to my channel, what? You, you want some life experience, you want to know how to handle women, shit like that, right? Oh, I did not come for either of those reasons, my friend, but let's do it. And so I'm here telling you that American women, and a lot of European women too, I'll get to them in just a moment, a lot of them are just garbage. Fuck, wow. Wow, oh my god! We as some ordinary gamers do not agree with this bullshit being spread right now, but we're gonna... Alright. Alright, that's, that's fucked up. It's fucked up. They're, they're just, you know, they're just not worth the effort. There are other women in other countries, in other places, that are worth the effort. But unfortunately, American women, not all of them. Oh, I love that. I love that fucking slide, like, TOS, like, bypass. So you know what he's doing? He's bypassing TOS because he's like, not all women. No, 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 no. Some. Not all. Some. Fucking wow. That is some bullshit. But the vast majority of them are just not worth it. And let me explain how this happened. See, it happened because the United States and the Western democracies were rich. Well, okay. <laughs> okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Now, I'm a computer engineer, okay? So let me see this. All right. Hatred of women. Western democracies are too rich. All right, you're going to need to explain a lot more before you connect these two leaps of logic together, Doc. <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. Whoa. It's simple as that. See, there's this great author called J.D. Unwin. He wrote a book called Sex and Culture. And in it, he basically studied why certain cultures decayed. And he came to the same conclusion that all cultures decay because they become successful, therefore they become rich. And because they become rich and successful and so you know what he's doing right now I just want to say he's putting an 18 minute video he's stretching a two minute talking point to 18 minutes they find it easier to give women more and more sexual freedom and as they give women more and more sexual freedom what happens is that the men become unmotivated and eventually the civilization decays is that is that how the Romans fell is that is that how the Roman Empire fell, chat? Is that um is that what happened, huh? <laughs> Too much sexual fucking freedom back in the day. <laughs> Entire empire collapsed. Huh. Okay. Alright. 
Okay. <laughs> you put that shit into a fucking history essay, I guarantee you failing. That's what J.D. Unwin said, and he's a big-time anthropologist, or was a big-time anthropologist, you know, out of Oxford and shit. I mean, like a big brain, right? He came to this conclusion 90 years ago. Yeah, look it up. Yeah, the PDF of the book is out there. Yeah, look it up, guys. The PDF of the book. Wait, what is his name? I'm, no, I'm going to fucking do it. I'm going to fucking do it. He asked me, look it up. Who is his name again? What happens is that the... What's the name? What's the name? Unmotivated. No, what's the name? Give me the name. Give me the name. Civilization decays. That's what J.D. Unwin said, and he... J.D. Unwin, okay, let me look up J.D. Unwin. J.D. Unwin. Alright, what is this? Unwin? Alright. J.D. Unwin was an English ethnologist and a social anthropologist. Okay. Um, also, was he like... Was he ever like disproved or some shit? Wikipedia usually has it. Let's see this. Um... Unwin studied 80 primitive tribes and six known civilizations. Um, described sex and cult as a work of highest importance. Okay, so this guy clearly has, like, credentials, I guess, I think. I understand. Unwin also claimed that legal uh, was a necessary prerequisite to what? That legal equality. Okay. What? According to Unwin, after a nation becomes prosperous, it becomes increasingly liberal with regards to sexual, and then the result loses its cohesion. Okay, so it's, it's, one, of the, it's one of those, huh? I mean, hey, listen, I'm a computer engineer. I'm not a sociologist, okay? So what the fuck would I know? He's a big-time anthropologist, or was a big-time anthropologist, you know, out of Oxford and shit. I mean, like a big brain, right? He came to this conclusion big brain, dude. years ago. Yeah, look it up. Yeah, the PDF of the book is out there. Sex and culture. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that, see, the United States is a rich culture. The Western democracies are rich cultures. What did you say? Americans are a rich culture. Western democracy are a rich culture. American rich culture. Western democracy rich culture. There you go. Okay. That's right. Let's 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 keep that one on the level. And what has happened? Well, what's happened is that over the last 50 odd years, women have been catered to. Any desire, no matter how trivial, it's fulfilled. The, and the society acts as if it ought to be fulfilled. It acts as if the, the whims of women are so important that they should be fulfilled at all costs. And <laughs> Bro, can't you, wait, can't you apply the same thing to guys too, though? I feel like everything he set up until this point could have just easily been applied to a guy, right? Like, my needs are pretty fucking satisfied, I guess. Shit, I guess. Sure. In other words, women in the United States and in the Western democracies, in the UK, uh, France, yes, like uh, Netherlands, Germany, right? The women in these countries, they are entitled. They're spoiled. It's simple as that. Entitlement is just a, a fancy word for being spoiled. But <laughs> Wait, 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 what? Dude, he's a troll. He's trolling me. It's a, it's a troll. It's a troll. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> they're fucking they're they're spoiled, dude. Alright. This says a lot about society. It's the same fucking thing. See? These women, they've been spoiled. The whole society caters to their whims. And so they've grown to believe that they deserve all kinds of privileges and, and a wonderful life. Fucking voting. Can you imagine? What a fucking privilege! <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, you have a Patreon? Let me see. What's up with the Patreon? Oh, this is why he makes the videos. Hold on. Hold oh, this explains why. <laughs> that explains it, guys. <laughs> huh. Huh. So now it's starting to make a little bit more sense, you know? Now it's starting to make a little bit more sense than before, huh? <laughs> now imagine for 2,917 patrons, let's say we're doing the $7 tier. What's the, what's the, fuck, not another notepad. What's the $7 tier looking at here? Hold on, chat. 2917 times 7 right here. <laughs> Bruh. 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 I'd be spouting bullshit too for 20k a month. God damn. What the fuck are you on about? 
I'm I'm the, I'm the idiot, I guess. Shit. They don't understand that in life, well, life is hard. Life is exceedingly hard. And you don't deserve anything. Whatever you have, you have to go out and earn it. You have to take it. Hmm? But these women, over the last three generations, quite frankly, they've grown up believing that they are entitled to all kinds of things. Not only in their work, not only in terms of... Can you believe these bitches want equal pay? What the fuck kind of bullshit is that? <laughs> what am I about to hear? Am I about to hear some fucked up shit? Am I about to hear some fuck... How do you earn, like... How do you earn over $200,000 a year and pretend not, like... What? Dudes live in the most privileged fucking... R what? Dudes live in a privileged... R is it... Can, okay, can I just... Can you guys honestly... Like, can you guys believe that anybody making $200,000 a year is equivalent to you? No, this is the bullshit that I hate, okay? This is, like, the real bullshit that I kind of hate. Because, like, what happens is when you get these kind of people that, like, tell you that, hey, guys, listen to me. I'm, like, going to give you some life advice. $200,000, all right, a year plus? Hmm, you're not that equivalent to it. Come on now. Come on. All right, though. I mean, well, listen to it. Let's see it. Let's see the truth, okay? Do all kinds of things, not only in their work, not only in terms of of money and, and material well-being, but also in terms of men. Yeah, they think that okay. they deserve Brad Pitt. Hmm? They think that they deserve Brad Pitt or, or somebody of equal high status, whoever they- Dog, have you been on like some incel websites? Docs think that they deserve the hottest chick too. Life is, life is quite different. Now, I, I feel like, I feel like that's one thing that we're like, I feel like that applies to everyone though, right? Like at the end of the day, like if I, I'm sorry, if I, like maybe I have a heightened sense of self-worth, but if I'm out there, all right, all right, and I'm dating somebody, I think I expect, you know, the best of the best. I think I should, you know, goddamn. I'm going to put myself up to the best of the best. But I mean, like the people he's getting to, like if you think, if you think that, I feel like, I feel like it's in a way that like, if you think that you're, if you think that you're deserving of somebody based on just their looks, I think you're dating somebody for the ultimate wrong reasons. Anyways, let's go hard here. Let's go. The the girls nowadays pin up on their walls, right? They deserve that kind of a guy. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the past, girls understood that in their social environment, when well, they had a limited set of opportunities in so far as finding a man. And so they would have to make do with what they had. Mm -hmm. Because see, that's life. You wait women do that i think guys do that too have you seen fucking tinder and shit yeah the internet's made dating easier for everyone though coach i feel i feel like this exact same logic could be applied to dudes right there as well there could be a million dudes in this chat who can just literally say they deserve you know insert hot person here what okay make do with what you have huh however limited those resources might happen to be and, and men are no different. They're a resource. Yeah, and women sure. in the past, I'm talking pre-1960, they had to make do with the men in their immediate social environment. But what's happened over the last 60 years is that they feel that, women feel that they do not need to settle, quote unquote. And so they hold out. They keep- I don't need to settle either, dude. I'm a young guy. I'll settle down when I'm like 35, when I'm a little older, coach. Does that make me the same? What's well, okay? Keep on holding out for the 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 better, the better, handsomer, taller, bigger dicked, more. <laughs> oh man, dude! Oh man! I swear to God! I swear to God! These are the types of people I think dick size actually matters, bro. Listen, dog, I'm small as shit, and I can still make it work. All right, come on now. Our successful guy. Mm -hmm. They hold out and hold out and hold out, and eventually they wind up with no one. And that's the thing about women nowadays that they don't seem to realize it, huh? See, they've been encouraged all through their teenage years and their 20s and even into their 30s to believe that they deserve all kinds of things that in the past, a woman in the past would never have conceived that she deserved it. Mm -hmm. But women today think that they deserve something unearned and what is he saying that's unearned hold on what is he saying that's unearned because so far it, it hold on wait 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 a second what does he mean unearned so he's talking about like these girls they all think that they deserve guys that are successful um you know they've got like what like money and shit 
I, I think if like if girls are looking at like guys, right? Like, wow, that guy's a crackhead and he beats people. I should shoot for that. Oh, wow. That guy actually, you know, is stable. That guy respects people. That guy is a normal level headed dude. I deserve that. Can we exclude the crackheads from the... Like, when I'm out there dating... Here, let me just straight up admit, okay? When I'm out dating somebody, right? Okay, I immediately look at someone that's materialistic. Like, if I find a girl that only cares about money, okay? She only cares about where I want to take her out for lunch or dinner or whatever. I'm not dating her, okay? Because I know that she doesn't like me for me. She likes me for money. And that's it. She likes me because I can take her somewhere nice. She's not going to stick around with me during the bad times. So when I date a woman, I date someone based on like, hey, can I have a conversation with this person? Can I, you know, can I have like a good time? That's what it is. All right. Simple as that. I'm not dating somebody on that shit. Okay. Like that's, I think that's a normal way to date people. I think that's a, I think that's a healthy way to fucking date someone. Jesus Christ. But who knows, dude? Who knows? Maybe I, maybe I am a dipshit. Maybe I am kind of a dipshit. Oh my god, there's a lot of I deserves, like, there. So, if we keep spamming that, guys, there's gonna be some fucking bans going on around here, okay? I don't want to hand out bans and shit. <laughs> but damn. Like, stop, let's chill out on botting the chat here. I'm gonna do this real quick. Hold on, this guy just seems... Racial bias and online dating. I mean, online dating is pretty shitty if you're an Indian guy like me, because every girl thinks that you're doing the whole, like, Bob's and Vagony shit, um, which is whatever, right? Like, I mean, if a girl does that to me, I fucking do not care at all. Like, fuck, fuck you know what I mean? Uh, anyways. Let's go. I go. All of a sudden, they hit their late 30s, early 40s, and nobody's catering to them anymore. The interest from the men, the interest from the society, quite frankly, evaporates. Yeah, of course, because see, women are only interested, are interesting rather, to men when they're fertile. <laughs> whoa! 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 Hey! 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 Whoa! 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 Uh, hold on a second! Whoa! Well, hold on. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call. Hey, Bob, how you doing? How... Stop the call. Stop the call. I hear a bunch of phones ringing in the back. Who are you calling? No, chill out on the coach, okay? Stop the coach right now. We're going to blow up the phone there. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, guys. I work for this company called the Base Department. Apparently, this dude went out on it. Okay, full jokes here. That's that's a little fucking insane there. <laughs> I gotta listen to that one again. That's, uh, that's wild. And nobody's catering to them anymore. The interest from the men, the interest from the society, quite frankly, evaporates. Yeah, of course, because, see, women are only interested, or interesting, rather, to men when they're fertile. Yes, of course. Dog, what the just... fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> that's what? Bro! Bro! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> Okay. Sex drive. We men are interested in women, not because of women, not because of anything that they might happen to be. It doesn't matter if they're brainy or cultured or accomplished. We don't give a shit about that. What? Whoa, speak for yourself there, coach. What the fuck? That's the audience you cater to, by the way. That's the fucking audience right there. That's the audience. So wait, hold on a second. So think about it like this, okay? Think about how hypocritical that shit is right there. Now imagine for a second, this guy has been talking about women only care about how hot a guy is and they feel entitled to that shit, right? Literally every guy, he's speaking for like, I guess every guy, right? He's like, guys only care about having sex. They don't care if a woman's smart. They don't give a fuck. So we're just, we're, we're like fucking sex drive junkies. Now, I'm going to be real with you. I've I've had plenty of sex in my sex. I'm going to I'm going to kill something right here, okay? People in the chat who think that sex is crazy. Sex is the easiest thing you can ever do in life, okay? All right. Statistically here, let me let me let me dig out a fucking population metric for the audience, okay? Okay, population um global male versus female. Let's see this one. Okay, let's see this. Um yeah, so apparently by a 2020 estimate right here, okay, the gender ratio for the world, sex ratio for the world population is 101 males to 100 females. So 
getting laid is statistically incredibly possible, okay? There is merely a girl out there for every guy. You understand that? All right? If an ugly motherfucker like me can get pussy, anybody can, okay? The only way you're not going to get it, okay? The only way you're not going to get any anything laid here is if, well, let's say you look like quasi-fucking-moto, okay? Well, then at that point, okay, life has truly fucked you, all right? Okay, but even quasi-moto can get pussy, all right? That's fucked up. That's fucked up, <laughs> all right? God damn. Getting, getting laid is one of the easiest things that you can actually do. Anybody can do it, but getting laid isn't the thing. Getting laid isn't exactly something to be super proud of, okay? All right, having get, having a meaningful, like, time with someone is more important. Anybody can get fucking laid, dude. Go to a goddamn bar and shit, you'll get laid. Fuck, <laughs> what you talk about? <laughs> Damn, dude, it's fucking brain dead. And I'm saying this so that most people in the chat, because I know there's a lot of people who are like, Muda, how do I get, like, there's a lot of guys and girls that come on to, like, anytime I stream, and one of them are always like, Muda, how do I find someone? How do I get... First off, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be leveling with you, okay? This is like genuine life advice, okay? If you are under the age of 26, 27, don't fucking date, okay? Don't, don't get into a serious relationship and ruin your life, okay? Focus on yourself and learn to stabilize yourself, okay? Focus on your career, focus on your life, focusing, focus on getting to where you are first, okay? You know, it's fine to have a fun time here and there, but focus on your life first. That's important as fuck. Focus on your school. Focus on your job. After 27, if you want to fuck your life up with a serious relationship and shit, go for it. 100%. That's for you. All right? Jeez, that's about it. You don't want to fuck around like that. That's dumb as fuck. All right? Jeez, people who are like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm 17. I need to have a girlfriend. You're 17, dude. When I was 17, all right, I wasn't thinking of no girlfriends, all right? I was thinking of like, I'm a dipshit. How am I going to get into college and shit? Okay. When I was 22, 23, yeah, I was in relationships and honestly they didn't work out because I wasn't even ready for relationships. They didn't. I had to focus on myself. Now can I get into a relationship? hundred percent. Sure I could, but it'll happen as time goes on. I don't think that you guys should, I don't think people should make the, I don't think people should focus on relationships this hard in life before, you know, shit is ready to go. I think personally. All we care about is whether they are fertile and we hone No, coach. I don't care if the women I date are fertile. Okay. That's really stupid. In on certain cues to their fertility. And that's what draws our attention. Uh, like, like moths to a flame. And once. Yeah, man. Cause when I'm at a bar and I'm like looking at a hot chick, I'm like, my God, are her ovaries functioning? Jesus. That's immediately what I'm thinking, right? No. That flame is extinguished, i.e. once a woman hits her 40s, when she's no longer uh, 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 fertile, we move on. We ignore her. We've, we've... I don't know, dog. I've fucked some 40-year-old women, and they're hot as fuck, let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you, coach. There are some hot 40-year-olds that are out there. I'm not, I'm not passing that shit up, dude. Let me tell you. Don't even see her. She becomes invisible. And then she starts drinking. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck do you think happens, man? These women who've become drunk on this attention, they start drinking like fish, you know, the wine ant or whatever the fuck. Oh, yeah, because there's, there's, there's no 40-year-old alcoholics, coach. <laughs> there's none of them. Fuck their call nowadays. You know, these alcoholic chicks, right? But they become garbage because in their uh, teens and 20s and 30s, they were catered to. And once this attention is gone... Uh, you know, they start becoming alcoholics. <laughs> what is the like, leap yeah, of logic? Can't... Yeah, they're just alcoholics, guys. It'll no man is still like okay. That, right? and, and, you know, oh, what man. happens? Nobody wants them. Of course not. So, Coach, you're almost there to eight minutes. You can you can put the mid-rolls on. You don't have to go this hard. They're spoiled and entire, entitled and picky in their teenage years and 20s and into their 30s. And there's a small window, like around between ages 32 and 40. When all of a sudden they sort of like sense, if only at a subconscious level, that their days are numbered. And yeah, when I hit 40, I'm literally rotting and dying. 40 is not that old. 40 is not even close to that old dog. What are you talking about? 40? Come on, dude. 
so they quickly try to latch on to some guy, yeah? Any guy, okay? No matter how uh, uh, low standard the guy might happen to be, oh yeah, they want to latch on to them because they know that they're, they're it's tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, they're, they're days. Ah, that crackhead down the road? Better reproduce with him, my days are old. ...of drawing attention, of being catered to, are endy. Mm -hmm. And so that's the dynamic that's going on with American women. And, and, like I said, European women as well. German women. Don yeah, don't, don't let you Europeans get off the fucking hook now. Okay? Oh, y'all, y'all thought this was about the American women only? Get the fuck out of here. Coach got something to say about the Europeans too. Get the fuck out of here. What you on about? What you on about? Dutch women, British women. I know this because I've lived in those countries. I can tell you what- Dutch women and British women. Those British women. They're pretty wild these days. Can't trust those Brits now, can you? What the fuck I'm talking about, right? I've lived in France, I've lived in England, I've lived in uh, Germany, I've lived in the Netherlands, and all these women are the same fucking deal. Yeah, they are entitled. They think that they deserve so much more. And when they realize that they're not going to get what they want, when, the, when their days start to, to, to wind down in their 30s, they latch on to some guy, any guy. Mm hmm Maybe even you. So that's what. I mean, <laughs> what? <laughs> Maybe even you. You might be the one caught by the 30 year old woman, Jesus Christ. Damn, dude. Damn. You're fucking insane. What's going on with American women and European women as well? Mm -hmm. They're just. I fuck. I hate, I hate this like rollback between the camera bullshit. I swear to God, I'm going to lose my mind. Spoiled. They're just. Shitty people. Hmm? Whoa! And it's not really their fault. Spoiled. They're just going on with American women and European women as well. Hmm? They're just spoiled. They're just shitty people. Damn! Y'all just shitty people. Hmm? And it's not really their fault. I mean, it's easy to blame them and say that all oh, these fucking bitches, blah blah blah. But no, no, it's the culture. Oh, that's uh, some that's some classic TOS evasion right there. God damn it. That's that's the TOS evasion I know. <laughs> it's the culture. Not not the per it's the culture. I like it. It's the culture and and it was just uh, um how can I put it? You know, the funny thing is that as I get older, I see things so clearly, okay? And JD on one whom I I'm just so fucking red pilled. I mentioned earlier, he was so fucking right. I mean, people in academia hate him. Uh, that's why his book is basically suppressed. Sex and yeah, dude, his book's so bad they demonetized it in real life. Lamau, the the real life algorithm is tossing his book away. Culture read. It's <laughs> Shit, a long dude. read, but it's worth it because it explains what's going on. And like I said, the older I get, the more I understand. And ultimately, you have to remember that we are animals. We are animals, and we are react to our evolved instincts. And the sex drive is one of them. The bro, we're animals with a higher level function, bro. <laughs> we're, we're higher level beings, dude. We don't just live to reproduce. Human beings have done a lot more for the world. <laughs> like burn it down with cryptocurrency. Am I right, boys? Second most important one after the drive to survive. Uh -huh. And so because of our rich society, because things are going or have been going so well for so long, well, we spoiled the women. Simple as that. Damn, dude. You see, this is what happened. This is what happened. You fucking spoilers, you. We spoiled them. But things are about to change now, aren't they? Oh yeah, things are about to change big time because you see, Dude, what the fuck? Wait, what was that? What was that? Things are about to change. <laughs> Damn, dude. All right. The Western democracies have been rich for a long goddamn time, right? But now they're poor. <laughs> now what was the thing I noted earlier? American rich culture. They're fucking broke, flat broke, yeah? I'm talking Europe, and I'm talking about the United States and Canada. Yeah, broke as fuck, okay?
can see this real quick. United States GDP twenty point forty nine trillion dollars. Okay. China GDP thirteen point four trillion dollars. Japan four point ninety seven trillion dollars. Huh. Oh. Um. Oh no, Wikipedia is run by fucking. Let's see this. United States GDP nominal twenty seventeen. Nineteen point four billion dollars. No, trillions or what the fuck um statistics time are they real oh no they're taken down uh, investopedia is that a reliable source man something about the united states just being at the fucking top what do i know right what the facts know oh. like here's the thing so the united states is in debt right so here's the thing so you know how people say the u.s is in debt and shit and the national debt is so high the debt would matter if if anyone was willing to collect on the United States, right? Do you think there's any country out there that has the balls to go up to the United States and ask them for the money back? Just because the United States can literally borrow money and never give it back. You guys you guys do realize that, right? Are you, you think any country out there is going to go up to the United fucking States and ask them for the debt back? You know why China wouldn't ask for the debt back either? Because China is like the biggest trading partner with the U.S. and vice versa, okay? That's how it fucking works. You, you, you guys know something that's fucking hilarious about the U.S. military, by the way? You know how much money the United States spends on the army, right? Apparently, apparently the U.S., if they were at war with every single country in the world at the same time, could apparently still fucking win, right? That's fucking insane, dude. No, no one, no one is getting that money back. <laughs> it's fucking insane. To be fair, though, I'm not a financial expert, and I personally think the entire money situation is so fucking confusing, and it's designed to be so confusing to keep people so fucking poor. You know what I mean? Does anybody, like, truly understand money? Like, at this point, you just have to be, like, a high-tier economic e expert to really understand that. I don't know, I think the money system's kind of fucking wild. I think the entire system that the world is just, like, keeps people down and poor the entire time. It's an interesting concept, for sure. But, uh, it's a wild one. For sure. But, yeah, no, for this guy to say that the entire country is poor now, I don't understand. Actually, you guys watch South Park, right? You guys remember the South Park episode where they talked about the economy? And, like, at the end of the entire show, it was the United States government, like, literally beheading chickens and playing, like, a roulette or whatever with the economy. That's pretty much what I think it is. Like, nobody knows what's going on any fucking more. <laughs> it's such a fucked up system. That was my favorite joke out of that entire show. Well, let's go, dude. Okay. Broke, like, I don't know what you can think of, like, as broke, broke. I'm talking broke, right? Enron broke. That kind of broke. The whole fucking thing. And we are about to go into a serious decline, see? I mean, like, metaphorically speaking, you know, uh, um, the sheriff is at the door of our foreclosed house, yeah, about to evict us. From yeah, the sheriff is at our foreclosed house, but the, the U.S. is like a trap house, you know what I mean? You, you, no sheriff walks up to a trap house by himself and says, hey, guys. Stop the drugs, okay? Drugs are bad. Nah, the sheriff's gonna get his head blown the fuck off by the people in the trap house, you know? Now, the U.S. is like the biggest fucking trap house in the world. You think anyone's going up to that trap house? Ain't no one fucking around with that, dude. No one fucking around, bro. The home we no longer own, and uh, our car is being repoed. Yeah, that, that's what's the, the situation of the Western democracies right now. Uh, it's over indebted. I don't, I don't think there's a motherfucker is about to rear its very ugly head. I mean, we're up Shit's Creek, man. And yet still these women act the same way. They act as if our society is so fucking rich. Why? What does that have to do? Bro, this whole video just jumps from point to point. What does the economy have to do with what? I, that's the funny thing. I love it. At this stage where things in the Western democracies are really going off a fucking cliff, they act like they still deserve all of these entitlements and perks and benefits and whatnot. Well, how they how are they going to control the economy? Come on now. No one can control the economy. That shit. Have you seen Venezuela, Doc? <laughs> all right, they're having an initial D tournament towards fucking inflation, Doc. Come on. Don't worry, guys, though. 
Don't worry, guys. Coach is going to be fine, though. Coach, Coach is sitting at 2,917 patrons, okay? Co Coach ain't out of money anytime soon. They're more garbage than ever. Yeah, so you want a woman? You want a decent woman, a nice woman, a, a woman who will care for you, right? And at least be kind to you. I mean, these fucking entitled women, these garbage women, they're not even fucking kind. I, I'm kind, I'm talking about the, the simple quotidian decencies, you know what I'm saying? They're not even that, but fuck them. Anyway, the point. They're not giving me pussy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, dude. Okay. All right, now. <laughs> They're not kind. See, you want a nice girl? Mm -hmm. There are two options. See, wait around for this uh, nightmare of poverty in the Western democracies. You know, this big depression that we're probably already in the middle of, and it's going to get a hell of a lot worse over the next few years, over the next decade and a half, two decades probably. Wait around 15, 20 years. And on the opposite end, or on the exit side of this depression, you'll find a lot of decent women who've gone through hell and high water and who- Basically date poor people, okay? Because poor people are already conditioned to not want anything better. They're already used to living in shit. Who've come out on the other side, like decent, kind, feminine, nice women. You can do that, i.e. wait around 15, 20 years. Yeah, when you go through, basically, when you're poor as fuck, and you get to the other side of uh, other side of the poverty bandwagon, you come out a decent human being. You could do that. All right, shit. Or you can go overseas. Overseas, and likely is not, I'd say Asia. Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. I remember my dad told me a fucking story like when he was young before he was married. He told me it was his first time visiting Thailand. And that's when my dad figured out about the whole meme. Cause like my dad my dad was my dad was like so here here's here's what my dad told me. Cause I cause I was telling my dad like, you know, I wanna I wanna go like party around the world and shit. And I said like, you know, I wanna visit like Bangkok and everything. This was years ago. And my dad had this like look to me, right? My dad like stared me down. He's like like, he had one of these looks. I was like, what are you looking at me like that, Dad? I'm like, before I was married, I went to Bangkok once. And there's so many massage parlors out there. My dad was giving me this play-by-play. -play. He's like, yeah, as soon as I landed out of the airport, they were just telling me they wanted to give me a massage. Everyone was like, give me a fucking massage and shit, dude. My, da my dad looked at me he's like, you just got to be careful, son. <laughs> As a doctor, I must tell you, you must be careful. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck, dude? My dad had these Vietnam War flashbacks real quick. Yeah, Asian women are probably where it's at. Yeah, because you're not going to find any kind of decent women in the uh, Western democracies. Fuck no. See, as things get worse, they're going to act more entitled, more spoiled, because it's going to be a product of hysteria. Okay. I'm going to, like, promote somebody here right now. Okay? Like, as a moderator, I'm going to add a couple more mods. Uh, we're gonna like start removing some fucking spam from this chat because it's really goddamn cringe So I'm just gonna add like I'm gonna add moderators that haven't spammed and shit to the entire party and uh, You guys can start wiping motherfuckers left and right. You guys can start putting straight-up hits out on people, okay? All right, that's what it comes down to you just clean this chat up right there and then Anyways, let's get back to it See, as, as they recognize that their fortunes are seriously declining, the society's fortunes are seriously declining, they're going to become more and more hysterical. I mean, you think that uh, uh, the Me Too movement and all this believe all women shit is pretty bad. Now, you just wait. It's going to get a hell of a lot worse before it gets better. Okay. As a product of hysteria, as a product of fear, of financial fear, of, of economic insecurity, Mm -hmm. It's going to get a hell of a lot worse. The women are going to get a hell of a lot more entitled and spoiled and bratty and bitchy. And, and you know, what's the point? What's the point of, of dealing with that shit? There's no point at all, of course. And waiting around for these women, or at least a generation of women, to learn their lesson and to treat guys with a little bit of fucking decency. Dude. Jesus Christ, dude. The fucking... I'm, I'm going to be honest, though. I feel, I feel like there's... I feel like there was a... I feel, I feel, I feel like, I feel like he got rejected on Tinder one too many times. To be honest with you, I, f I feel, I feel like he's. The t I feel like there's not been anybody matching with him on Tinder, and this is just sort of what happens. I feel, I feel, I feel like, I feel like that's that's a bit of the story. Right? I feel like someone hurt this man, for sure. That's there's a lot of leaps of logic here.
man, it's going to be, like I said, 15, 20 years. You want to wait around that long? Fuck no. Now, I'm going to do a video on Eastern European women who are a fucking nightmare. I mean, they're hot. They're, they're blazing hot, but they're a fucking nightmare, okay? And if you're a young guy, you probably can't handle them, okay? If you're an old fart like me, maybe you can handle them. I mean, they're hard to handle. Be honest, coach. Be honest. It's because of the bank account they can handle it, right? Let's be honest there. Let's be real, coach. Let's be real. I think the game is more about how much is in the bank account. Come on now. Let's face facts, right? But no, the kind of woman you want at this point is Asian. I'm talking Korean. I'm talking Chinese, Taiwanese, Singaporean, Thai. I mean, going to Thailand is kind of icky. Didn't even mention Japanese. Oh, God. That's a, that's a, that's a pretty big society, too. I feel I feel like there, this is just a really roundabout way of saying, again, this is pure speculation. I feel like all of this is just a roundabout way of saying, date a woman that requires to that requires staying with you because she has a visa attached to your marriage. You know, some people get married like that. It's fucked up, actually. Like some people get married with like other people around the world, and so their visa to get into the country, like America or like Europe or whatever, is tied to their marriage. So that girl pretty much has to fucking, like, bend over backwards. Same thing with the guys that get married like that, too. Like, so there's a there's actually a weird problem that we have here. So in Canada, um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of like, Indian families out here that, like, have this bullshit. So, like, they'll find a guy in India, all right, or whatever, and they'll marry the guy in India. And the guy in India will marry whatever person, regardless of if they love someone or if they care just so that they can have um just so they can have like a uh just so they can have a canadian visa now they have to put up with all this marriage regardless of if they're being abused or anything going on to keep that visa in canada even if they get divorced in canada they have to fucking they have to like they have to go back to india right so the entire idea is like they have to they have to keep that marriage running for so long so they can eventually stay and it's really fucked up it's a real fucked up way of doing it Literally, like, I would, a shit ton of people here get married because they can, like, sell the visa to, like, somebody else. Sometimes there's a fucking payment and shit. It's, it's actually really fucked. That, that's, like, kind of a weird roundabout way, I feel like, us putting it in. I, I feel like that's just wrong in general. Like, uh, not only is it wrong in general, but now you're getting people married that have totally different, like, cultures and shit. It's really fucking weird. It's not okay. Anyways, let's get back to it because everybody gets the vibe that it's basically sex tourism, right? I frankly look at uh, Korean women and Chinese women, yeah? And they like Western guys, sure they do, yeah? They find them a hell of a lot more attractive and interesting than their local guys, right? That's a pretty stark fucking generalization, by the way, holy shit. And they're not gonna be so fucking spoiled. That's the point. See again, like- They're not gonna be spoiled. Bro, has this man been to South fucking Korea? Does this guy know that South Korea is not a... Does he does he realize that South Korea is as modern as America, like now? I've been to South Korea, guys. South Korea is not... South Korea ain't no poor motherfucking country, dog. South Korea ain't no... South Korea ain't no fucking backwards-ass country. South Korea is up there with the best of the best. <laughs> Like, unless you're talking about Pyongyang, my guy, maybe. Like, next to next to Japan, South Korea must be, like, the richest per capita out there, you know? Even China now is, like, China has a bigger middle class than, like, us. China's not poor either. China has poverty for sure, but, like, motherfuckers, at least in South Korea, from what I saw, they were, they were fucking, they were, they were rich, dude. Damn. Like I said in a previous video, uh, the kind of woman you want, you want a cheerleader. You want a woman who's going to cheer you on, who's going to give you support. I mean, real support, okay? Not the ersatz bullshit support. You want her to give you that emotional support so you can climb your Everest, carry out or go after the big objective. Bro, you can find that shit here. What you talking about? Is that you have. And you're not going to find that with Western women. And by the way, when I talk about Western women, I include like... I feel like the chat got hit with... I feel like the stream that we're doing got hit on trending. So now the bots are going to jump into it. Because there's going to be the porn bots. There's no fix to that. Uh, uh, Asian Western women. You know, Asian Americans, Asian Germans, you know, shit like that. See, because they're just as entitled and spoiled. Okay? I mean, they, 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 uh, they, they become uh, contaminated with this, uh, with this disease 
okay? Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. And, and being spoiled, right? No, no, no. You got to go to the source. You got to go to Asian women. Why? Because those societies are poor. Okay. What? <laughs> He's trolling. He's trolling. Bro, with that logic, why not just go to Central Africa? Why not go what? With that logic, why doesn't this guy just go to, like, Africa and shit? Like, some Central African country that hasn't, like, gotten past the industrial age. What? What the fuck? Damn! Okay. And now that I think about it, not so much Korean, but, like, Chinese. Yeah, the second the second richest country in the world, guys. Yeah, maybe maybe those guys. Maybe that, they're not. They're poor. Those Chinese people, they're fucking poor, guys. Singaporean? Vietnamese, Cambodian, yeah, they're poor societies. Singapore is poor. What? Let me let me uh let me let me just see Singapore for a second. That's uh that's fucking poor as hell, my guy. Look at that. Look at how poor this fucking society is apparently. Shit, look at that. Look at that. Look at fucking they're slumming it in Singapore, guys. They're slumming it in there, dude. They're slumming it down there, dude. <laughs> Singaporeans be poor as shit. God damn. Fucking gross. Look at that. Look at that. Ugh. Only $100 million investments? Fucking gross, dude. Look at that. It's fucking poor as shit. And the women there are not going to be so entitled. And they find a decent guy. Presumably you, you know. A, a hardworking, decent guy. Who um, wants to do the right thing. Wants to raise a family and earn a decent living. You, you don't want anything special other than just a nice material life and a fulfilling family life, uh, which is are, are, are exceptionally good objectives, okay? I want a Louis Vuitton mansion. <laughs> is that is that okay? Coach, is that good? Can I get the Louis Vuitton mansion? Hell yeah, dude. Well, an Asian woman, a Thai or Vietnamese or Cambodian or Chinese woman, she's gonna be down with that. In a way that yeah, dog. She fucks with that. She likes living in a cardboard box. Y'all bitches see Kowloon City? I played Shenmue too for five minutes, and I knew the Asian people liked being poor. What the fuck? <laughs> God damn! I'll be real. I'll be real, dog. I mean, I think, I think when you give luxury to anybody in life, they sap that shit like no tomorrow. They down for it. You show anybody, guy or girl, hey, you want a bigger house? Sure, why not? Hey, you want a nicer car? Sure, why not? <laughs> okay. Fuck that. We grew up in Kowloon City. We're, we're, we fuck with that 100 square feet life. A Western woman never will. See? A Western girl who's 24, get that persona what's she thinking? You know? No, I didn't. Uh, fucking the chat and getting wasted on the weekend. <laughs> what? What's she thinking, you know? Never will, see? A Western girl who's 24, what's she thinking, you know? Uh, fucking the chat and getting wasted on the weekend. Bro, that's some fucking incel energy right there. So wait a minute, wait a minute. A 24-year-old girl wants to fuck the chat and get wasted. You know, I'll say this. When most guys are 24, they'll fuck anything with a pulse. Pulse can be optional at this point, okay? When I was 24, I was fucking like crazy. Why not? I'm 24, dude. Okay. That's what she's thinking about. Uh, Cambodian girl, Vietnamese girl, Chinese girl who's 24. She's thinking of finding a right man, locking him down and having a... Damn! You Chinese women, pure Chinese women be like 24 year old, time to lock down a dude. She's about to ready for the final session. I like it. Bunch of babies. That's what she's thinking. And she finds a nice guy, nice guy like you, who can provide this, she'll, she'll stick to you. She'll stick to you and she'll support you mm -hmm. in a way that a Western woman won't. I mean, look, it's, it's really unfortunate, but that's the situation, okay? I mean, it's always important to look at history, 
history gives us a guide because people never change. Uh -huh. And so that's why history repeats itself or rhymes or just... All right, bro, I can only tolerate so much of this shit. I'm done. Like, unless he has some other fucking insane video to laugh at. Sure, but this is like pure cringe. Never date a single... Oh, my God. Oh! <laughs> Never date a single mom. Okay, you know. Sure. Women who are damaged goods. Never date a girl over 25. That's only seven minutes, boys. Never date a girl over 25. <laughs> Oh, I like this porn music. I like that, dude. Sure. All right. So this is seven minutes. I'm going to leave this as the last one for Coach. Oh, we're going down two years. We're going to 25. Hell yeah, dude. Hugh Hefner. Oh, bro. Okay, for real? Coach Redpill looks like a fucking Chad right now. Like, I'm sure in the next seven minutes he's going to spout some shit, but he don't look half bad right now, dude. You don't look half bad right now. Recently died. Now, Hugh Hefner, let's not kid ourselves. Hugh Hefner recently died. Now, Hugh Hefner, let's not kid ourselves. Hugh Hefner was a pimp. That's based department. But he yeah. was. He was a pimp who at the Playboy Mansion, what did he do? He brought together pretty young things with rich and powerful men so that they could frolic together like a good pimp, like a good uh, madam at a bordello in New Orleans. You know, uh, that's what the Playboy Mansion was. It was a whorehouse. Man, if he says that about the Playboy Mansion, holy fuck, what does Coach have to say about Epstein? What the fuck, dude? You know, and I, I personally don't care one way or another. I wish I'd been able to go back in the good old days, but other than that, I could... <laughs> the truth comes out. I wish I could go back in the care day. Less about the whole situation. But my point, let's not kid ourselves as to who he was, okay? He had great taste in music and great taste in literature and especially in journalism, but he was a pimp. And like a good pimp, you know, there are a lot of lessons to be learned from him. I'll do... Ah, uh, like a good pimp, there's a lot of lessons to be learned. Oh, boys, you're gonna... When you hear that line drop, <laughs> you back the fuck up out of here, all right? When you hear that drop, you get the fuck up out of there, all right? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. A post at some future point about pimps, because I think that they are fascinating and very, um, there's a lot to be learned from them. Now, that being... Yeah, man. How to get arrested and sell women, sure. Yeah, that's 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 uh, that's what I look up to. Said, there's something that Not really. happened to Hugh Hefner when he was like in his 50s, 60s. He was dating some young thing. He started dating some young thing who was in her like she was 20 or 22. <laughs> some guys like Coach Redwood makes me want to paint my walls with brain. Yeah, something like that. Me too, buddy. And she said to him when they just started dating, she said, "I've never dated someone over the age of 24." And he replied. Neither have I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, he's keeping it. Yo, Hugh Hefner's like, what's your birthday? Are you 23? Yeah, that's the day you're not going to see me again, bitch. <sighs> Which I find just so um, witty on the one hand. And yet it's very, it's very interesting about what it reveals. Because like a good pimp, he understood women. Because like a good pimp. <laughs> Damn. See, that's the thing about pimps. They understand women. That's... <laughs> Dog, you can't! He's fucking memeing! Like a good pimp, they understand women, dog. Like a good like a good pimp, State Farm is there. <laughs> huh. Huh. That's why you should pay attention to pimps and study them. Because they understand women and like any pimp. This is satirical. He understood that a say. woman over the age of 25, 27 on the outside. After that, they are fucked up and you don't want to deal with them ever. A woman over the age of 25, 27 on the outside. After that, they are fucked up and you don't want to deal with them ever. This is from a, this, I think this is from a Dave Chappelle skit, guys. I'm actually not memeing. Is this from a Dave Chappelle skit? Because I swear I think he's... I think he's ripping off Dave Chappelle. I think he's ripping off Dave Chappelle right now, guys. 
Am I am I being fucked with? I think he's ripping off Dave Chappelle. Is he? Can a pimp teach us about Linux? No, dude, pimps don't fuck that fuck with that. I feel like he he's ripping off a Dave Chappelle skit. I have to believe that he is. Dave I think Dave Chappelle stated this shit as a joke. But okay. Let me explain why. It's very simple. See, women are ruled by their emotions. No matter how smart the woman may be, no matter how educated, no matter how much uh, you know degree she might have, a woman is ruled by her emotions and she uses her intellect to rationalize what are essentially her emotional decisions. She's ruled by her emotions on a second to second basis. That's why no woman can see a plan through for anything, you know? Damn, dude, he's fucking... What what hurt this man? <laughs> who hurt this man? Damn. I want to find the woman who fucked Coach Red Pill up this hard. I want to find what woman did this to him, actually. This, man, this man's fucking gone, dude. It's like... <laughs> So you, you guys know that you can take this image like here I can just show you what to do I can, I can literally I can literally show you this is gonna be kind of a long-winded joke but one could literally take this image like right now all right just like grab that shit all right let's just do pictures Save P all right let me just uh, let me fucking let me slap one on here oh <sighs> wait a minute this has to this is like a straight-up skit though you know like one one could hold on a second. Let me let me sign on. Uh, this guy don't fuck around, dude. I'm telling you, he is um. Coach is a coach is a wild fucking character, dude. Don't meme him. You're gonna give him clout. I don't think this is the clout that he wants. Like this is a guy and a guy that like. I'm sure he has a fan base of, like, hardcore perma-virgins and shit, which is fine. You know, if you're going to be a hardcore perma-virgin about it, that's cool. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to crap on you for it, but, like, my guy. Like, I don't, I don't know if, like, like, at the end of the day, like, there's people who think that this is, like, actually based, you know? There's, there's some guys who believe it's, like, this guy's super based as fuck. I'm full MG toe or whatever the fuck they call it these days. Some real cringe shit. You know, no, no one, no one likes it. No, no one agrees. But like, I mean, honestly, all right. If you were to just do this, okay, like grab one of these right here, all right, all right. You were to just, you know, coach Red Pill, you know, do one of these. Like, imagine this was an interview, right? You do one of these, and then like under it, you did. <laughs> Like, here it is. Like, if you did one of these, could you honestly fucking slap the difference, though? Could you guys slap the difference on that, though? I feel I feel like most people couldn't fucking feel the difference on this one, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, if you were to do, like, a good old interview and you saw that, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe, a, maybe a little bit of this... You know what I mean? Maybe 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 a little fade in action going on. <laughs> I I I don't think you can see a difference. You know what I mean? You know, <laughs> like I it's, you know it's like I'd believe that if that shit was on television. If I saw that on Netflix, I'd be like, that makes sense. That makes sense for sure. Let's minimize. Let's. Sometimes you got to whip out the Adobe Premiere Pro to make a fucking point. You know, right? the the hormones get in the guys guys this is this is a coach red pill video it's not an edp video if it was an edp video i'd slap discord mod under it okay the way okay they, they make her change her mind that's why women tend to be indecisive that's the way it is now that said you got to keep in mind that women their prime drive is to have children See All right, I'm gonna tell you right now. No one, holy fuck, Mini Troon coming in with the 500 Dolans right now with the eyes popped up. Jesus, Mini Toon. Mini Toon with the 500. Jesus Christ, bruh. God damn. What are you giving me half a rack for, brother? Because we're, brother, brother, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna piss them off. 
God damn. My boy here coming out. Jesus Christ, Chief. Thank you. Mini tune, dude. Mini tune, bro. Mini tune. Mini tune. Look at that. I I I almost made close to what Coach Red Pill is pulling in Jesus. <laughs> Thanks, man. <clears throat> Nvs Net, thank you. Mini tune, are you? Somebody just said VTuber. Are you a YouTuber or something? <laughs> Full metal. Gotta get Wisconsin drunk tonight, neighbor. <laughs> so i gotta be real like i don't think he's trolling i think this is like one of those grifting things this is why like so this is why i don't really like believe in like political channels or channels that are like this simply because i feel like nobody like 99 percent of the people who make shit like these videos don't believe their own bullshit i feel like every single person here just grifts for the cash that's what it is people just literally grift for the money on this shit no one actually believes what the fuck they say like, in my opinion, I don't think people here fucking believe that shit. I don't think I don't think people here believe anything. Like, these people literally grift for this shit. I don't think they're serious, man. I mean, if they're serious, it's fucking insane, dude. It is insane if they're serious about that shit. Now my entire recommendation is filled with Coach Red Pill or fucking Dar, man. It's like two sides of a fucking spectrum. Kind of insane, dude. By the way, I gotta thank you all in the chat for not, like being like i know that people give gamers a bad fucking rep because we're like these racist misogynist motherfuckers but like 90 percent of the chat here is like so normal and level-headed that they look at this shit and they're like wow this is fucking brain dead you know so thank you all chat you you guys prove a point that not all gamers are dipshits only some of them not all only some okay fine a big chunk of them coach red pimp professor is guaranteed in sex and women right this is uh, her money I got turned from Bob Gatches into Lungi. Bob Pitega America. What Bob Pitega? You guys are in fucking cringe, which is the best part about it, right? That's a, that's a big problem. The weird perception, right? People look at gamers like, look at all these gamers being dipshit, racist, sexist bullies on the internet. And that's not the truth at all. Look, a grand dipshit of them are sure not 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 a whole fucking hell of a lot of them jesus it's like what's fucking dumb by the way too is like even like the like i don't know, I, I, I don't know like i got i got this one thing where like somebody said uh somebody said that i was racist because i made 4chan videos like i made videos where i like admitted that i was on 4chan when i was younger like what the fuck kind of stupid logic is that like bro you think i'm sitting on poll talking about stupid shit Poll is a containment board, so we on 4chan can keep the fucking containment board. Fucking, we can keep that shit contained, you know? Like, I'm just sitting over there on, like, Paranormal, and they're like, wow, that's a real racist website to be on. I'm like, the fuck are you on about, dude? Motherfucker. Like, you do realize we keep all the racist shit on 4chan contained to two boards. Be in poll. All right? We try to keep that shit there. <laughs> Like, motherfucker, you go, you, I, I, I've been on pole. Somebody give me 500 knocks, dude. Thanks for the knocks, man. Thank you, Combustion and Full Metal. Pe people who, like, here's the thing, too. People who shit on 4chan act like it's the worst behemoth of fucking degeneracy. But yet, like, oh, so you're just going to ignore Twitter and shit? I'd say Twitter is more fucked up than 4chan is. I actually, 100%, I firmly believe on social media, Facebook and Twitter are way worse than 4chan. Like, 4chan has some fucked up shit, you know, on their containment boards. But, like, 90% of 4chan is, like, fucking anime, paranormal shit, or gaming. Twitter and Facebook are fucking way worse. Like, you know what's weird? You remember that movie Cuties when it came out? I think 4chan straight up banned that from being fucking tossed into their discussion. Yet everyone on Twitter was, like, defending the fuck out of that movie. And, like, to this day, there's people who think that I'm a fucking weird prude for it. Like, what kind of stupid shit is that? That movie was dumb as fuck, okay? That movie was bad. That movie was terrible because the message, whatever it tried to portray, it broke its own fucking message, all right? Get the fuck out of here. To this day, if anybody fucking comes up and tells me that I'm a dipshit for hating that, we go fuck yourself, all right? Actually, go fuck yourself. All right, like, I don't even understand. Motherfuckers out there defending the dumbest shit. And then they come up to me acting like I'm a fucking prude or I'm like some fucking insane motherfucker. No, get out of here, all right? I'm going to stick to my fucking beliefs. Get out of here. All right? Fuck that shit. All right, I'm done with that nonsense. Like, that, that, was, that was not Gucci. That was not okay. All right. Now, people are like, did I watch the movie? 
Honestly, like, did I watch the whole movie? Yeah, actually, I fucking, I did. I watched it with, like, fucking mangoes and a couple friends and shit. And we couldn't, we could barely make through that movie. Like, we barely could. I know that Charlie tried watching that movie, and he could barely make it through. Like, he wasn't, I think he turned it off at the halfway point, is what he said in his video. When I watched Cuties with my friend Mangoes, like, you gotta understand. So, I'm gonna full admit, full honesty with you guys, okay? I make fucked up jokes behind the scenes, okay? All right, on Discord with my close friends. If you want to cancel me for that, then you should cancel the whole fucking world because everyone makes fucked up jokes behind the scenes, right? Is that fair enough? All right, Mangos makes a fuck ton of, you know, airport jokes with me. I make a fuck ton of jokes with him. Simple as that. All right, I think I think everyone does. Everyone fucking does. But we could barely sit through that movie. I know I had me, Mangos, I had Brian, I had fucking all my boys there. And we tried, and we could barely make it through. There were moments where, like, I literally minimized Discord screen share because I wasn't able to do it. Because I was like, this movie's fucking weird. They're, like, straight dancing. And it, I get the movie's trying to make you feel uncomfortable and shit, but, like, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have to, you shouldn't have to show that imagery to make me, I know it's bad, all right? I don't need a movie to fucking show it to me to let me know it's bad. Just saying. But, like, I try to explain that to people and they're like, you're fucking terrible. You're, you're a prude. You're somebody that, like, no, fuck you. All right? Some shit is just wrong, all right? Some shit is just out there. And Netflix deserved a bit of a cancellation for it. What the fuck kind of stupidity is that? Well, that's what I say about fucking... It's the other thing too, right? Like fucking... I remember when that happened, I made like... I tweeted out this Loli joke or whatever. Like I was like, a Lolicon starter pack. Like, you know, literally cop cars arresting you. Because I was like sitting over there. I'm like, you know, I don't understand this whole thing. People try defending the weirdest shit to me. So I'm sitting over there like fucking... Like, I talk about anime and I'll watch it here and there and some motherfucker brings up, like, this lowly shit to me and I'm like, I don't fucking understand that nonsense. Like, I'm not saying that it's, like... Like, he, here's the thing. When I post that kind of shit, I'll be, I'll be fully honest with you. Like, the lowly stuff, it, it weirds me the fuck out. It does. Like, I know I joke about it, but in genuine, in genuine, like, feelings, it weirds me out that there are people out there that draw, like, underage kids and shit. You know what I mean? I don't... I don't... I, don't, I, I find it really fucking weird. I find it really odd and weird, okay? I don't like it. You know what I mean? I think I think that I think that it's I, I don't I like I can't fathom and look at it. I think that it's borderline fucked up. Now at the end of the day, alright, are those people committing a crime? I don't think so, because it's not an actual person, right? Like even if people draw like lolies and stuff, that's not a real person. That's not like real shit being sent out, right? Like I don't think anybody is being hurt in the production of Loli, right? So that's what separates it. You know, because somebody drawing something on a piece of paper isn't like no one's being hurt by that. You know what I mean? Like no one's being actually hurt by any of that shit. Minitune donates one thing. Yo, Minitune fucking gave a straight rack on fucking on, on stream lives. Dude, Minitune donated like 1500, bro. Minitune's got me on like this lowly rant. <laughs> I didn't even know. Jesus. Minitune's like testing for three. God damn, dude. Minitune, Jesus. But back onto the whole point there, when I look at shit like this lowly stuff and I look at it as a drawing, right? Like, sure, okay, nobody's being hurt by it. But, like, I, can I still be honest and say that I think it's weird? Like, people are out there like, it's really just a 4,000-year-old, like, dragon. Like, dude, okay, it's just weird to me, all right? Simple as that. And then when I'm sitting over there and you tell me that I'm wrong for thinking that it's fucking weird, no, fuck you, okay? Okay. All right, fuck you. I can have a fucking opinion. I think it's weird as shit. It freaks me the fuck out. All right? Now, does that mean that I'm going to go out of my way to, like, fuck? No. Fuck you. It's weird. All right? It's just, it's fucking weird to me. All right? Simple as that. I don't know. The internet's fucking out there, okay? So, the internet's just insane, dude. And then, like, the other thing is, too, is, like, motherfuckers, guys. Okay, there's even, there's even some more fucked up shit, too. All right? So, like. I remember, like, way back, all right, when people used to be ripping on bronies and furries and shit, and, like, fucking, when it was cool to hate on furries and bronies, because, like, nowadays you can't fucking do that shit. Nowadays you'll get canceled for it. Back in the day, people used to make fun of furries and bronies and shit, and I used to have lighthearted chats, but there were people who used to, like, literally make fun of, like, furry people, and it's like, we should fucking kill you and all that shit. Like, it's fucked up. I was like, I don't understand. Like, these motherfuckers are just dressing up in, like, fursuits and, like, going to conventions. Who gives a shit? You know, at the end of the day, <laughs> like, I don't fucking care. 
motherfuckers out there get super sad, super like angry about what they aren't, what they're not doing. Like there's motherfuckers out there who are sitting there like, I hate these. I hate this stuff makes me mad. I'm like, why? I don't care. Dog, I don't care if you dress up in a fursuit or I don't care if you do some wild stuff. Yo, Mini Tunes out there are giving 500 racks, 500 bones more. I've hopped into people's streams saying Stranger Thing. It's not an issue. I just watched you for years now. You're a YouTuber, Mini Tune. If you're Minecrafting up, dude, we gotta we gotta build a we gotta build a Minecraft sex dungeon. I know you're a Minecraft guy. I don't know if you can get away with some like hardcore shit. I so. Here's the funny thing. Ever ever since I've done shit like Roblox, I've made friends in the Roblox community. And some of the Roblox creators and the Minecraft creators are the most wildest, most dopest motherfuckers you'll ever find. One of my biggest videos was given to me by the biggest Roblox channel. Okay, they gave me a tip for it. Funniest motherfucking dude. But I feel bad for them guys because every time they say the word fuck on their videos, they're, they're getting canceled for it. There was like one point, you know, Dennis, the channel here, I'll show you guys real quick. This is a channel. Fuck Coach Red Pill. This is Dennis, right? Dennis was like, I think Dennis called out someone for like ripping his thumbnails and he said, hell. Bro, his channel started, his like Twitter users started canceling him for saying hell. It was fucking wild, dude. That's insane. Flamingo's fucking badass. Like, if you don't know this guy, like, this guy's, this guy's a fucking champ. Flamingo's fucking where it's at, dude. Flamingo's a cool dude. All right. Flamingo gave me a good ass tip once. He's a cool. The Roblox community is badass. In fact, Roblox itself, guys, apparently it's like the biggest fucking game. Apparently, dude, look at. Have you guys seen Roblox revenue? Guy, have you seen how fucking massive Roblox has become lately? Roblox is like a near billion dollar game every year. Roblox is a near billion dollar fucking game, guys. Can you guys imagine Roblox being that big? I didn't even know Roblox was going to be that huge, but it, it goes hard, man. Bobox. Thanks, man. Muda furry suit reveal. Thank you for helping me through tough times. Hey, man. The pleasure's, the pleasure's a mutual friend. I'm not helping you guys out through tough times. We're, we're a family together. Remember, we just watched an hour's worth of Coach Red Pill, guys. If that doesn't make us, if that doesn't make us married at this point, what the fuck, what, what is going to make us married, you know? It sure as hell isn't going to be the incel stuff. Let's look at in incel, incel, incel shit. Let's look at it, dude. I'm an incel. Ask me anything. Oh, there's no fucking way. Guys, there's no way. There's no way this is real content. What? This is what the life of an incel looks like. What? <laughs> Am I going to sleep in Minecraft VR? Absolutely. It's an age-restricted video, okay? No, 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 no. We're not showing that nonsense. If we could summarize your... All right, let's see this one. What is this? I'm an incel, ask me anything, sure. Opinion towards women? Like what I think of them? Yes. <laughs> I do think they are very important. Dog. Tell me you're capping right now, this? Okay. Oh. Wait, 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 is this one, is this one of those, like, I'm not a racist, but... Hold on, wait a minute, watch this. Yes. I do think they are very important, but... <laughs> I think women are great, but... Okay. Incel, short for involuntarily celibate. Okay. Alright, let's go. Oh, let's look at these forum posts. Of course, they're gonna bring in Joker. Whenever there's a woman around me, I can literally feel hate when you just got towards me. Even my looks match! Even... It wasn't like that before Black Pill. When I thought I so mad at that much, I could easily talk to Stacey and befriend him, so I always end up tense. But now, if I'm around females, I feel miserable and small. Okay. Okay, dude. They've got some, like, SS. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, that's fucked up. Everyone feels miserable by women, even the hot ones. The hot ones were hot because you would never fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. approach. Oh, oh no! All right, okay, all right, let's get down here. Incels are labeled as a male supremacy hate group by Southern Poverty Law Center. Huh. Oh, <laughs> we got, we got this man. To get laid at all. So we found those subjects in person, rented a space in Hollywood, and invited our audience and any strangers walking by 
to come inside. My animate and Roblox ask videos. Them anything. Good shit. Let's get it. Okay. All right. I'm gonna take a bet. Five days without a shower. Uh, hey, I'm uh, Brendio. I also go by Derek. I uh, I'm an incel, and I'm here to. Uh... You don't you don't say that with fucking pride, dog. You don't say that with pride. Answer but okay. Questions about the topic. They brought in all these people to ask this guy one thing. Okay. I can start. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good. So you're an incel? Yes. Why would you ever sign up to do this? I, I suppose I would want to give more of a positive light on this community, which is a very negative light upon it. Wait, wait, I think the real answer is they gave me 50 bucks. Yo, mini tune with the $5,000. Mini tune dog, bro, guys. Got yo mini tune, bro. What the fuck, man? Guy, I gotta, I gotta. Mini tune gave five grand here, dog. I gotta mention that one. Jesus Christ, dude. That's the biggest dono we ever had on this fucking stream shit. Jesus Christ. Here you gonna. I gotta keep going, so I'll leave you with this little gift. Here, let's put it on the. Let's let's just put it above the intel. With this little gift. That's not little, bro. That first off, I gotta be real thankful for it. Okay, Jesus Christ, five thousand is five fucking thousand, dude. I would do a line of G fuel if I could right now. What the fuck? Keep the great work. Hope you're doing fantastic and have a wonderful day. I gotta. What do you stream, dude? I gotta come in there and fucking. That's that's fucking it. Mini tune fucking comes in. Jesus Christ. That's a lot of fucking. That's 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 a that's a shit ton, dude. No, nah, we got we got to fucking donate that to a goddamn like crazy charity or something. We got to donate that to a we got to donate that to an incel prevention charity, guys. We got to we got to go and pr we got to go. That's that's fucking insane, dude. That is that is insane. Mini tune, you better not Mini tune? Mini tune, you better not be fucking laundering. Mini tune, you better not be laundering through me. That'd be pretty weird, champ. <laughs> God damn. Damn, dude. We should donate it to incel prevention charities. We should. Well, actually, you're right. That would be illegal. That would be. <laughs> that would that would be wrong. Actually, no. That's fucked up. Okay. And do you think that's a good thing? Yes. Why is that? Because a lot Mini of boys in this community aren't bad people. But you acknowledge that a good handful of them are, right? Not a good handful. I'd say a small handful. Who hurt you or what happened? What event sort of catalyzed? That's the entire video right there. Who hurt you? Who hurt you? God damn. This way of thinking and you getting into this kind of research. Uh, society. <laughs> uh, society. We live in a society. Do you hate women? No. 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 Do you have a female role model in your life? A female role model? Yeah, like um, a mom or an aunt or a friend? I mean, I love my mom. I wouldn't... <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, that's, that's surprisingly the most wholesome shit that I've seen so far in this video. Yeah, I love my mom. Me too. I necessarily consider her a role model, but I do love her quite a bit. If a woman was elected as president of the United States, how would you react? <laughs> Um, I don't know. It probably would depend on the on the woman. I, I I probably would she fuck me or no? I probably wouldn't be supportive of it honestly. But <laughs> why do you say that if you don't mind me asking? I do think that you know men should be the leaders and women should be the caregivers and the. Well, I mean, if you think that men should be the leaders, my friend, how about we lead our way into a fucking shower sometime? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> If you, if you really believe that, maybe we should lead ourselves into the fucking bathtub every once in a while. Yeah, maybe the maybe the step we're going with. I'm just saying. And the you know the loving, supporting, and the, and the teachers. So in some cases, since women of color or just women in general have been oppressed by certain systems and other oppressed communities, especially the LGBTQ plus, all those those aren't, don't really fit with the spectrum that incels or you have been talking about. So why do you think? your method of thought would help fix what we have today. 
I probably wouldn't view the things that you might view as oppression as oppression. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Thank you, Bussin' Muffins and Mina. Thank you for making videos and joining us in the early days. Keep the great work of the content. Thanks. Yeah, thank you, Mina. <laughs> such a wholesome message. I love it. That's such a wholesome fucking. Oh, okay. I have a feeling. Um, I would view it more as uh, how we treat children that we love. We we control them, but we control them lovingly, not as a slave, not as we're f we control them lovingly. <laughs> okay. I thought you're supposed to nurture children. I fucking huh. All right. Forcing them to do things against their will. I would view it more as a a loving domestic thing in the past, and I would say that if we were to do it in a civilized way, maybe in a more even a Christian way, even though I'm not a Christian way. Oh, God damn. Okay. Really advocating for a certain religion or ideology. What is he saying? Um, I would assume that women would probably be happier. And I wouldn't just assume that blindly. I would assume that based on the data that I've seen. What data have you seen that has brought you to this? Have you heard of the site called Stormfront? <laughs> because I'm now curious where I can get this data from. Um, I couldn't reference it offhand, but I believe there was a study that, that um, I, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is, this is one uh, you know, study or whatever. How much you want to bet, how much you want to bet if he got laid, if that dude got laid once, w the entire incel shit would go away. I swear to God, this shit is just because these motherfuckers have no game. I'm telling you. I am telling you the only reason this happens is because they've got no fucking game. If they got laid once, if they got laid once, they'd be out of it, okay? If they got laid fucking once, they'd be gone. They'd be free from it. No problems, no nothing. This shit would leave their fucking head. All right? $10 for the man sitting there like your content is just a haunted gaming days. Bro, you're watching something scarier than haunted gaming fag host. I'm telling you. Gunmar's like gamer moment, yeah? Thank you, Parak Hossum 99. What do you think it is about liberal areas? Oh, whoa, 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 sweetheart, sweetheart, sweetheart. Let's not, let's not mix the incel shit, okay? The behavior in women that you think is a problem. Promiscuity to leads to yeah. increased standards in more primitive aspects, such as looks. Man, dog, do people back in the day just fuck absolutely anything? I mean, they do that now, but, like, I'm pretty sure standards were a thing since the fucking caveman days. Actually, the caveman days were even more fucked up. Let's not get down to that level of anthropology, right? Huh. All right. Um, and that typically <laughs> makes it harder for some people to find a relationship, including sometimes good-looking people either. the fuck <laughs> good looking pe good looking people have a hard time finding uh, i don't have a hard time getting laid dog i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> i don't know what the fuck you're talking about bro <laughs> what the fuck all right okay champ there's guys who are much better looking than i am who are having a really hard time finding someone in a place like la or in london or okay I'm going to stop you right there. I've said the same thing to guy friends of mine. Oh, dude, it's bad. You know, the game's harder than it ever was. It's because I'm lying to make them feel better, okay? All right? I'm giving them fucking copium. I don't have any issues getting laid, boys and girls. All right? Jesus Christ, we lie to you. <laughs> we lie to you so you stop bitching when we're having beers. Simple as that. Simple as that. If I'm out having beers and you're talking about how fucking gameless you are, I will lie to you so you can stop being a negative Nancy and I can have a beer, okay? Simple as that. Sure, buddy. Life is that bad for all of us. Fuck. Life sucks for all of us, man. I'm bad as fuck, right? Goddamn. It's terrible, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why do these people act like sex is the final god of the internet? You have it once and it's not that exciting. Sex is not that great, okay? Chat, sex is not that exciting, okay? Alright, you want to know something about sex? It gets boring. Having a meaningful relationship is the exciting part, okay? That's what it comes down to. Getting laid some...
basic ass shit. Anyone can get laid, guys. God damn. You know, back when I was a kid, all the other kids made fun of me for being a virgin in the eighth grade. So it led me down a path to wondering, right? What kind of fucked up shit is going in my friends' home life where I'm lo- where I'm unlucky to be the virgin? Like, you know, motherfuckers back then called me, wow, you're 15, wow, you're a virgin. Bro, I'm glad I'm a fucking virgin, dude. I'm glad I don't have a weird-ass uncle like you. God damn. Motherfuckers coming out over here, it's like, we're in the eighth grade. Wow, Moody, you're still a virgin? Yeah, dude, I'm glad. I don't have a weird, I don't have a weird uncle like you, dude. I don't give a fuck. That's messed up. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of fucked up home life you have where you tell, you're making fun of me on that? We're in high school, everyone acted like they were fucking every cheerleader back in the ninth grade. Bruh, okay, you were fucking your hand in the ninth grade. Alright, god damn. Even when I was a senior in high school, I didn't even have no time to get laid. Alright, god damn. You think, you think I'm gonna risk... Have you been to sex ed, guys? You think I was gonna risk my life at 12? At, at grade 12 getting laid? Fuck that. Sex ed, my teacher scared the shit out of us about sex. You know what I learned in sex ed? Dude, they would never shut up about STDs. We had an entire sheet of all the fucked up STDs you can get. You know what I mean? Back then, when I was in the fourth grade, that's when they had sex ed for the first time. They used to tell us, okay, guys, when you have sex once, you'll get AIDS, HIV, gonorrhea, fucking crabs, all this shit, blue waffle. (laughs) Your dick will fall off and you will die. Bro, we were scared shitless back in the day. When I went home and I asked my mom and dad, I'm like, Mom, Dad, do you get all of this from sex? You know what my dad told me? My dad, first off, my dad laughed. And my dad's like, yes, yeah, son, you could get that. But um, not every human being in the world has gonorrhea, okay? Just don't fuck without a condom in college. It's the best fucking advice I guess you'll probably get. Back in the day, they made it sound like after you have sex once, immediately going to get pregnant. Immediately. 100% preggers. That's what they made it sound like. They literally made it sound like if you had sex once, the girl you would the girl you would have sex with would be immediately pregnant. She'd be pregnant from like just the sight of you. I don't think that's how it fucking worked, dude. I'll be real with you. I don't think that's how that shit... But hey, then again... You know, we use condoms. So, like, then then when the condom thing came in, they tried scaring us because they were like, condoms are only 99.9% effective. There's still that 0.01% chance. It's like, it's like motherfuckers telling you Lysol is still not going to work. Lysol is only 99.9% effective. They made it, they genuinely scared the shit out of us back in the day. I'm not going to lie. They made it look like sex was a scary thing. Fuck that, man. Fourth grade. It was weird. They made it look scary as fuck. And I was like, mm-mm. When I, when, I was in, when I was a senior in high school, I was like, mm-mm. Mm-mm, stay away. <laughs> then again, though, I was kind of a weird guy, like, because uh, I was focused so much on school. I didn't even go to, like, prom and shit like that. Then no time for that nonsense, dude. We're in Auckland, New Zealand, but they probably would have perfectly fine time finding a woman somewhere else. So you think that promiscuity is the problem and if people were more monogamous and more um, withholding, that would sort of fix society? Yeah, I suppose if people were more traditionalists. There have been a few mass shootings. Traditionalists. I like it. in the past where these dude. shooters actually stated that they were in cells or were radicalized by online incels. What do you think about their actions? I condemn their actions. I don't believe in vi- I don't believe violence is the solution. I don't believe attacking random people is going to fix anything, whether they're, you know, women or men. I do think that the reason why they committed those actions was probably because of out of desperation or, or out of, you know, mental problems that probably could have been prevented had the the right support was in their in their community in their household. If they, if, you know, if people, you know, saw what they were posting and saw what they were experiencing in life and did something to help them. If they got free sex, they wouldn't have shot up society. That's what, literally, it's the roundabout fucking way of saying it. It's the roundabout way of just straight up saying, if they had gotten some fucking pussy, people's lives would have been saved. This dude watched Joker and actually considered it to be like some fucking deep, profound movie, didn't he? 
Was there like a pivotal moment in your life, like a straw that broke the metaphorical camel's back? You know, it's constant years of rejection, no matter who the person was, constant years of rejection in other aspects of my life. It did kind of push me towards more, I suppose, radical um, beliefs, but I suppose they're only like radical, but they're more just old beliefs, really. No, it's, it sounds like, uh, like I had another like metaphor, like death by a thousand cuts, you know, it's not like one pivotal moment, but it sounds like a bunch of things. Dog, you're, you're trying to rationalize with this, just don't. Built up over time. Yeah. Uh, one of the common criticisms about the incel community is that you feel entitled to sex or intimacy. Do you believe that you deserve sex or intimacy from a woman? Um, I think everybody at some level deserves someone that they someone that loves them and you know respects them as long as you are also loving and respectful towards that person you know they're they're an equal you know you're not like uh seeking someone beyond yourself you know you don't have like too high standards I suppose. my face exactly friend my face exactly <laughs> whoa whoa then go out go find someone sitting at home playing smash brothers and not is not gonna help you Sitting home and playing video games and complaining about how you can't get a girlfriend isn't going to get you a girlfriend. Same thing with girls as well, too. There's plenty of girls that want guys and they'll act like they fucking... They act like guys should just fucking cater over backwards and take them out. Nah, dude. I'm sorry. I won't date you unless you're worth it. Simple as that. Simple as goddamn that, okay? Stop that shit. What the fuck? When was this uploaded? You know, the thing is, here, let me say something to you, okay? Like, I know we made the shower joke as a joke, and that's it. Like, this guy isn't even that unattractive. Like, he's not that, he's not even unattractive, period, okay? You know, the problem is, too, is that, like, he's dressed up in such a way where he's not, like, he could do a million things to make himself look better, okay? Who cares if you're maybe a little bit chubby or whatever? If he fixed up his hair a little bit, wore some, you know, nicer threads and shit... He, dude, he could, he could actually, you know, I feel like he could get a fucking girlfriend. Simple as that. If he gets like a, if he gets a pretty cool shower in there, if he gets his hair looking right and he gets like, you know, some better threads, he could, he could honestly, like he could win. He could get, he could get laid. He could find someone. All right. Simple as that. You know, the problem is with this shit is that like, there's a severe lack of confidence, right? Like people who can't talk, like I'll explain something right now. When I look at somebody who like literally thinks this way. And I, and I, and I take them somewhere and I, I'm like, Hey, go, go say hi to that girl. Right. They're like fucking start freaking out. Cause they get this level of social anxiety. Let me tell you guys how to talk to women. Okay. Let's say you're at a fucking party, right? Let's say you're at a, like a party and shit. And like, you find that girl that's like really attractive and everything. You know what you do? You go up to her and be like, hi, I'm Mudahar. What's your name by the way? Oh, your name is Stacy. Oh. Well, Stacy, it's uh, you know, this party is really awesome and everything. And, you know, you start talking to me, you find something, you find, you find anything. Okay. You find literally anything to share any, anything or like any talking point. All right. Whatever the fuck it is. And you, you like work on that. Simple as that. Okay. That's how you, just, you know what, you know what I'm doing? I'm literally telling you to talk to them like a, like a fucking normal person. Here's my way of telling you talk to them as if they were literally another dude. Okay. Because girls don't want to fucking, like, my experience with any women is that they don't like to be talked, like, differently. They don't want to be, like, my, when I've succeeded, I literally don't, like, talk to them. It's like I'm trying to, like, I'm not trying to make, like, I'm not trying to go above and beyond, okay? I'm literally going there to talk to somebody as if they were, like, some other random person, okay? All right? And, hey, you know, if we hit it off, we hit it off, all right? Let's say that you get them talking the entire time through a party or when you meet out with them or whatever. Then, at that point... You know, you fucking, you ask them, hey, can I get your number later? Maybe we can catch up sometime, you know, for a coffee or whatever and have a, you know, catch up later. Right? Simple as that. Be yourself. And if they give you the number and if they, you're good, then you take them out for coffee a few times. Eventually you'll strike up something and you're good. Oh, did the internet die out a little bit, guys? I think the internet died a little bit. Are we back? Yeah, internet, internet kind of, internet kind of died a little bit. Um, it's getting to that point in the night where like the uh, they they kind of fuck us over a little bit. I'm just saying. 
But like this isn't, dude. I just feel like this is the kind of shit that needs to be sort of done. Guys, can we can we just be honest here? Like this whole like, and, and I want one thing to be honest here in the chat too. I know that like we're laughing at this kind of shit, but if there's somebody who genuinely believes this, can we as a community be like actually supportive to them? I no, I, I and I and I'm being totally real. Like I know that we're laughing at that shit, but there's people out here in this community and like around the world that um feel this exact way, right? Like they feel like you know they're incels. Can we as a community be a little fucking positive and, like, help them out? Like, if you're a guy out there and you find somebody like this, I want you to honestly go out and help them, okay? Because at the end of the day, like, can we can we just, can we literally try being a bit more positive to them? Simple as that. Like, if you find somebody like this, can you as a guy go out there and, like, set them on the right fucking path? Simple as that, okay? Like, I know there's some people who are memeing no and shit, but I hope that there's people out there that just wants to, like, support someone. Or, like, help them get on the right track, if so to speak, right? And same thing with girls, too. If you find, like, a girl out there that, like, acts this way, too, like she's a woman incel, help them out, too, okay? Nobody should be in this scenario. I'm not saying go out of your fucking way for it, but, like, if you find somebody, like, in your life, help them get a little bit of self-fucking confidence, dude. Simple as that. Help someone develop confidence, okay? We need less of this incel shit. And please, for the love of God, chat, can we stop with this fucking, like, dating coach cringe shit? Because I hate these motherfucking alpha chat channels, okay? Like, alpha, alpha male shit, okay? Alpha male strategy. Can we stop with this, like, alpha male bullshit nonsense? I know these guys are memeing over here, but I kind of just want to laugh at things like alpha males do that beta males don't. How alpha males act far from average. Like this should, 10 signs you're an alpha male. Like this is the okay. cleaning tip from Mr. Clean. Try magic no, Mr. Clean, fuck off. Dirt and mud on shoes. This is a this is a fucking top thing channel. Alright, let's go. Fuck off. By the way, I fucking hate pickup artists. If you're a pickup artist, all right, and you're going to try to, like, fucking act like a hot... You get a, if you're a pickup artist, I don't want to know you. Because you're one of the most fucking cringe people I've ever met in my life. Fuck pickup artists. Hey, everyone, and welcome to Top Things. Today, we're going to learn about 10 signs you're an alpha male. Now, let's begin. Number one, constructive honesty. The truth can be scary. It's difficult to tell others how... Okay, let's go to Sigma male, because if we're going to look at Alpha male, we might as well just go to the furthest end of the earth, okay? Let's look at Sigma male. How Sigma males act, rarest male type, okay? Alpha versus Sigma, new male who, okay, let's look at, so apparently how to become a Sigma male, right? So they've got John Wick in the thumbnail, so at some point you have to be a fucking, I guess you have to be a hitman, right? Is that what it is? Is that, is that, is that how, okay, sure, let's go. How to become a Sigma male, the rarest type of them all. How Gotta catch them all. Hi guys, welcome back to Alpha Show, a channel that will completely change your life from negative to positive and make you the person you always wanted to be. Wait, what? Ah, switch races, I guess? Okay. You always wanted to be. After this video, you will know where you fall in the spectrum of male personality types. If you're not already a Sigma male, this video will show you practical steps to becoming one. Sigma males are a rare breed of men and are arguably the most appealing to the ladies. Ah, you know, them ladies can sniff out the Sigma, right? They are quite different from the- Not every day you find a channel that's just about being a straight up dipshit, huh? Normally I find videos about being a dipshit. Not every day you find a channel about being a straight up trash dipshit. Okay. The naturally dominant alpha males and the usually subservient beta males. Oh my god, cuckold. <laughs> They're lone wolves who do not conform to the social sexual hierarchy. Sigma men can dominate others, but would prefer not to. My recommended looks like straight cancer at this point. <laughs> Despite having the credentials of a leader, they'll also not lobby for leadership positions. They are cool and don't brag and boast like the alpha males. Nevertheless, their silence should not be mistaken for weakness or shy. Maybe they just don't give a fuck. Us. But before we start with this video, I just want to mention our new course called 30 Days to Alpha. That oh! working <laughs> You're selling me something, aren't you? Hold on. How much does this fucking course cost? Oh, of course. One minute in and we're already getting a course sold to me. Wait, let me just see if this has anything. Uh, yeah, here we go. 
Becoming alpha in 30 days. Okay. Confidence mastery. No fat mastery. Life mastery. Plus five bonuses. Okay. I get to learn not to masturbate. I get to learn to have confidence in life. Okay. 30 days to alpha pack. So you get a $359 pack for $87. Okay. Here's a fun fact. The entire pack was always worth $87. Okay. This is that bullshit scam that people run where they're like, yeah, we have a thousand dollar course we're selling to you for $5. Right. Uh, 30 day program will change your life completely. Okay. What's included. So he's got no fat mastery, some fucking random books, instant spark, Oh, so insane confidence, okay? Master the power of no fap. Master habit development. Become the alpha of your group. Become extremely social person. Get girls without trouble. Rewire your fucking brain. So here's the testimonials. Yo, alpha, I just did no fap mastery. I love the system used in this course since, I, since it was challenging, very effective, and fun to do. I didn't think I would enjoy quitting a bad habit that I was so addicted that much, but somehow I did. I don't mind people quitting jacking off here and there, but treating it like, you know what jacking off is like? It's like fucking people who drink, right? You know how people are like, drinking is evil and it's completely terrible. If you do things in moderation, it's not, it's not the worst imaginable. Whatever, though. Let's get back to it, okay? I just want to see this nonsense. Almost six months. It is based on three different 30-day challenges and more very useful things. Okay, Alpha, let's skip no this. Mastery. Of course this motherfucker has ads immediately mid-roll. So what a goddamn bitch. Right, Confidence go. by over five times, master the power of nofap, completely change your life, and become the alpha of times. Wait, so to be an alpha, you gotta be a bit of a furry, I guess? Master oh. the power of nofap, completely change your life, and become the alpha of your group. Check out the link in the description. You must have heard about the manful alpha male every dude seriously wants to be like. And there is the beta, delta, omega males that are considered less manly to the dominant alphas in the hierarchy of male personality types. But have you heard about the excitingly mysterious sigma male? Dog, I haven't heard of this shit to begin with. I don't know it was a goddamn pyramid. I don't know this was a fucking pyramid scheme now, was it? I don't, I don't know we were dealing with an actual pyramid scheme. They also exhibit signs of dominance and would give the alphas a run for their money. So, who are they? Alpha males with their leadership qualities, strong confidence, and no-nonsense approach to life are the head of the pack. Beta males are just content to take orders and fall into line, but personality psychology researchers have discovered sigma males and their roles in the order of masculinity. Where's the proof? Where's the science? No, I want to see where the fuck is the science. I don't want to see this animation. Where's the science? Every time they say the science, they never give any fucking science. They never do it. They never do it. They never give any, like, report or anything. The science says it, though. These are the males who make their own rules, run their own race, and dance to their own drum. Sigma males do not care about what others think. They seem to have always been around, doing their own thing on the fringe of society. What does that even fucking mean? Yeah, I walk around naked in public. I whip my dick like a helicopter and scream at cars. I don't care what other people think. Fuck that. I dance to the tune of my own drums. Some people say that. I'm wild. Okay. Rip in memory of Muda's recommended feed. Thank you, Jacob. It is dead feed. They get a lot of attention for both good and bad things. What is it that we don't know yet about this personality group that keeps experts coming back for more? Here are what you should know about Sigma males. They don't have a problem going against the norm. Sigma males are the rarest type of men. They are usually self-employed, traveling nomads who look for adventure and knowledge rather than material things. They don't take orders from people and don't usually conform to society's systems or labels. You can consider them as the rebel of the male groups, but they are very attractive to women because they appear to be self-sufficient and capable of making their own- Yeah, babe, this crackhead living on the fringe of society- Oh, you didn't miss much. Yeah, babe, this, uh, this crackhead that we found on the other side of the road, yeah, he lives outside society on his own rules. He snorts his own crack, okay? He's a rebel. You know that? He's a rebel. I think I'm gonna fuck him now. That meth head? That's a rebel right there. That man li- He likes Shenmue, babe. I think I'm gonna fuck him. 
There's a lot of people that like Shenmue doesn't mean they're fucking right. They live on the edge of society. Alright, fuck Shenmue, dude. You know, it's gonna be an entire game about getting revenge on my fucking dad, but let's do a forklift job, because that's fucking fun. You fuck Shenmue, okay? I'm done, okay? That's a whole video right there. That's a whole 20 minute rant that I'm uploading. Fuck Shenmue, okay? I'm sick and tired of this fucking game being jacked off. Oh man, oh, my dad got killed. Oh, oh shit, better go get revenge. Oh, where the Shalos? Where the Shalos at? Hey, Ma, did you find the Shalos? Okay, fucking... Why does he spend three hours in the game looking for fucking sailors when he could have went to the harbor to begin with, okay? Where the fuck would the sailors be? No, where would the sailors have been, Ryu? Okay, this motherfucker sitting out here. Oh no, where the... My dad was killed. Oh, the Shalos? Oh boy, when would you say your dad? Dude, you could have taken a bus to the sailors anyways. Oh, better work a job here. It's not like the game is like, oh, work the job one day. No, you gotta work a week, motherfucker. You better work a week, okay? All right? Simple as that. And like, Shenmue 1 sucks dick anyways. Like, Shenmue only gets good in the second game. And what do you do in the second game? Oh, I made it to Hong Kong. Wait, but what's the one gameplay dynamic? Better learn how to pay fucking rent. Okay? Better pay rent. That's an important aspect of getting revenge on my fucking dad. When at any moment, you can just... And you know the best part is? I did the gambling bullshit in Shenmue 2 to just get myself a crap ton of money. People are like, you ruined the experience. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You want me to work a manual fucking labor job so I can earn 10, set, 10 Hong Kong dollars to live at a love hotel with a bed covered in cum? No, 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 motherfucker. I have had more fun time going into the IRS office and paying my fucking taxes, okay? All right, that's what Shen, Shenmue, you know what's funnier? You know what's funner than Shenmue? Getting fucking audited, okay? Getting audited is more fun than fucking Shenmue, okay? All right, getting a fucking tax audit is funnier than Shenmue. There's more action going on, okay? That's Shenmue in a nutshell. And then Shenmue 3. Holy fuck, we have lost the plot there. There is some turtle racing in Shenmue. What? What? Turtle racing in Shenmue? Huh? <laughs> Woo! Exciting. Exciting shit. God damn. It's like a game that's like about having a drug cartel, but you're sitting over there doing the forklift job, moving the fucking cocaine from the one end of the warehouse to the other. Okay, so all the cool shit that you could be doing in the game is thrown the fuck away. Now you're doing all the boring shit, okay? And Yu Suzuki's like, I can't wait to make like Shenmue 5. Bro, I think three games were more than enough, okay? Because when I got to the end of Shenmue 3, the story didn't do anything. The story literally doesn't move forward at all, okay? Like, Ryu gets to the end of Shenmue 3, and it's like the fucking game never happened, okay? It's like I went to Bailu Village for no fucking reason. So now, the only thing I got out of it, my dad literally came and visited me once, and he said, Oh, uh, son, what, are you, what game are you playing? Oh, that is Shenmue. So, wait, you're doing another job in the game? You're doing an actual job? I was like, yeah, dad. He's like, well, that's fucking boring. That's really boring, isn't it? I was like, oh, sh well, Dad. When I guess when you put it that way, it's fucking boring as hell. Yeah, it's the war. It's the most boring. And then it's like, but Muda, you can explore the world. What's there to explore in Shenmue? No, please tell me what's there to explore. Is it the off-brand version of fucking Sega games that I'm playing? No, is it the Coke machine that's now been changed because they can't get the copyright to Coke anymore? Oh, that's that's just, that just gets my balls off, right? Oh, Moody, you can have a soda pop, okay? I can have a soda pop in real fucking life, okay? I don't need, I don't need Shin, I don't need Ryu fucking drinking the soda pop, like, making this face. Like, he just drank dog cum, okay? Like, what? And then, and then he's like, oh, but you got gotchas to open. Bro, he opens the gotchas? He, like, opens it like this. He, like, like, imagine if this is the fucking, um... Like, imagine if this is, like, the gotcha, right? Like, he opens the whole gotcha, and it's like, he pulls it out, and it's like... But that's Sonic right there. That's Sonic. All right, my fucking. You've got Tom in the background. Okay, Tom's Tom's doing one of these like. Dun dun stutter. Hey, real. Dun dun stutter. Dun dun stutter. Hey, real. Hey, dun dun stutter. That's it. He does that the whole fucking day. Dude literally wakes up at 6 a.m., goes to the fucking store, and just starts dancing 
to like nine o'clock. Doesn't fucking stop. Doesn't do it. Literally, it's some top tier meth energy. Okay, top meth energy. So Tom is on. He's going. Bum, bum. Tom has had the biggest meth rip of all time. You don't give a fuck. He doesn't care. All right, and then there's this fucking cat somewhere in the game, okay? So, like, every day you have to go buy fish and shit for this cat. That is, like, the only level of, like, sub-story plot development this fucking game has. This this homeless cat that I have to feed. Could I not just go and send it? Like, come on! And then, like, there's this one girl out there who's, like, his girlfriend or, or like, I guess wants to be the girlfriend, but she has to move to Canada, and I'm supposed to fucking care. Like, I don't know who she is. I don't even remember her fucking name. That's the dumbest shit I've ever seen. I fuck, dude, I cannot. There are people out there, <laughs> okay, that will swear by this fucking game, and I don't understand it. I don't get it. I don't get Oh, Mamuda, it's an experience. Oh, it's an experience? All right. Getting stabbed is a fucking experience, too. Doesn't mean you should fucking go through it, right? Okay. You know, getting beaten in prison is a fucking experience, too. That doesn't mean you have to participate in it. All right? Okay? <laughs> like, goddamn, dude. Came in boring as shit. And it is. And you find anybody that sits there and it's like, uh, Shenmue created the way to Yakuza, okay? Shenmue... It's like, it, it, it was dead at birth, okay? Like, it wasn't succeeding. It, Yakuza at least has, like, a storyline to it. Yakuza at least has, like, gameplay to it. You know what Yakuza has? Here's the best part about fucking... Here's the greatest part about Shenmue, okay? Imagine. So you wake up at, like, 6 a.m. every day, right? In Shenmue or whatever, and you have to leave the house. And your mom gives you, like, $4 in yen or something, right? She's like... Oh, uh, here, hey, Ryo, here's 400 yen, okay? Like, uh, spend it carefully. Bitch, it's $3, okay? It's $4. What am I gonna fucking do with $4? You know how expensive it is to live in goddamn Japan and you're giving me $4? Okay? What do you think I'm gonna do out and get with $4, okay? All right, motherfucker, there's like people, there are literal children in this game wiping their ass with $400, okay? They don't give a fuck. She gives her like a $5 bill, okay? You're fucking, you're like, literally grandma comes up with fucking pennies, all right? Grandma's like, Grandma's like, uh, kid, here's a, uh, where, where the fuck is it, um, here, 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 here's a, here's a dollar, Ryu, okay, don't fucking spend it in one place. Fucking grandma's like, here, bitch, take another dollar, take another dollar, take five dollars, that's all it is. Alright? Grandma literally gives you five fucking dollars and calls it a day, okay? Grandma literally, grandma is a, grandma treats Ryu like a hooker, okay? All right, grandma's got five dollars, okay? She's, grandma's doing this in the beginning of every day. That's what she's doing. Grandma don't give a fuck. <laughs> All right, goddamn. Grandma is out of her mind. I can't do anything with five dollars. What the fuck? What the hell? You go and work, and then you got to work at this job, and fucking Mark underpays you too. That's some bullshit, I gotta say. That is some horse shit. The game's trying to give me the story about the dark side of capitalism. I'm trying to avenge my dead dad. The game's going all political and shit on me. <laughs> hate that game. I fucking hate it. I, I can't believe I played it. I can't believe I played it, dude. And I gotta play through it again for footage on my channel. I literally, you know how boring this fucking game was when I wanted to make a full review? I went on Fiverr to see if I could pay somebody to play the fucking game for me. I'm willing to pay some dude a straight up grand just to do it, okay? That's how boring that fucking game is. I'm on Fiverr looking for people. It's like, we'll record gameplay for you. But they're charging like an insane amount, which I guess they should. Fuck, man. There's motherfuckers that defend it. They're like, fucking, I just Shenmue changed my life. Anyways, uh, let's get down to it. Anyways, all right. If you like Shenmue, all right, you're cool, okay? I don't care, all right? You, you, listen, we all like dog shit sometimes, okay? If you like Shenmue, cool, that's your opinion, okay? Opinions, sometimes they can be dead fucking wrong, you know? Like, I, you know what? I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a fan, I'm a fan of dog shit here and there, okay? For real. Okay, that's cool. 
That's fine. Alright, that's cool. We all can have a bad take every once in a fucking while. Alright? Like, people who are like, I love fucking Shenmue. Oh, it's cool, man. There's verified people on Twitter making a statement like that every fucking day. It's just insanity. God damn. ...way in life, not relying on anyone or anything to meet their needs. They can decide to go solo for a while. What is intriguing about Sigma males is that their need to be alone is just temporary. They get an early sense of satisfaction from withdrawing from society, but then come to recognize all they three. could contribute oh, rant, if Dan. people were more flexible and willing to do things differently. It is not that Sigma males want to be alone as such, but they don't want to be part of the world as it exists now. They are usually the ones who step outside their comfort zones, create fascinating things, start businesses, are quiet partners, and hard workers. While some people think that Sigma males retreat from society because they are lazy or don't want to work, the opposite is true. They just need time and space to make their ideas and bring their dreams to life. Trust fun babies! Yeah, man, I wish I had enough time. I hate that fucking thing. It's like, yeah, I just need time and, you know, to, to nurture. You know what you need to do, all right? People who say that have, like, daddy's money to be working off of. You know something? Muda wanted to be a lawyer for the longest time, but I didn't do it because, um... That shit costs a lot of money. I wish I had that time to really retreat from society and think about it to myself. You can't retreat from society, dumbass, when you have rent to pay, okay? When you have a mortgage to pay, you can't just retreat into society, right? You know? Jesus Christ, I'm just saying. Life. Sigma males fall into a part of society that people idolize, yet don't fully understand. How to become a Sigma male. One. You're hard to get. There is a difference between being hard to get and hard to get. The first is in- What? Huh, now we're just stretching out the runtime here, aren't we? Attentional and can be frustrating for ladies who find such men attractive. The second is natural, so Sigma males keep things close to their chest. They don't have to be a recluse, too. Two, do your own thing. Sigma males do their own thing even when everyone is screaming and yelling at them to do something else. It's not that they're trying to be difficult, it's just that they see no point in living their life according to everyone else's rules. 3. You could be the alpha. An important trait of Sigma males is that they have all the qualities of the alpha male, but they choose to display none of it. If you've had several chances and the ability to- The fuck does that mean? The fuck? What? You could be the alpha. I mean, you could be Sigma, but never show trait. The symptomology might not be there. You might not have the symptomology, but don't let that change you. You still could be Sigma male. It's like, what? What? Sigmas are just alpha wolves, you know? Not even one paid get me to play through Shenmue. Game isn't as bad as your aspect ratio. Listen, man, the ultra wide I, I have to support, okay? Ultra wide means a lot to me, alright? Because there's very few people with ultra wide monitors, apparently, I guess. And uh, we all ultra wide gamers have to stick together, alright? Simple as that. S Sigma males that don't don't show any symptomology of being sigmas. It's like these people think that a personality can be like trained. Like what? How about just be a good guy? How about just be a good fucking person, man? Like, maybe that's... And maybe that's too hard to do. Step into leadership roles, but chose not to, then you're probably a Sigma male. Four, don't say much. We know business can change the world. You decide... How many mid-rolls am I going to deal with? number one business program. <laughs> Kellogg's Frosted Flakes and the game. There. That's what I do. I bring my homies home to eat fucking Frosted Flakes with, right? Wait. Right? Speak when you need. Maybe that's what makes me a Sigma male. Maybe I just don't care what society thinks about my video aspect ratio. Maybe I just, maybe I just like to go my own way, huh? You guys can yell at me for not using 16 by 9, but I don't give a fuck, boys. I'm a, I'm a Sigma male. I'll do what I have to. I'll do what I fucking have to, boys. All right, simple as that. I don't have to listen to society. Society can go fuck itself. to speak and say what is only important. It is uncharacteristic of Sigma males to talk like a chatterbox everywhere they go. If you don't say much, many people will find you mysterious, but you know your worth and what you bring to the table. Five, be a rebel. 
Being a rebel doesn't have to be a negative thing. It means that you simply don't follow the crowd because you follow your Hell guts. yeah! This definitely doesn't get you a lot of attention, and the women will fall all over you. Sigma males prefer to do their own thing, and that's what makes the women want them even more. Six, get a lot of attention. It's not a lie that women enjoy the pleasure of Sigma males, and they've certainly had male admirers too, but the attention they get is not deliberate. They prefer to let them look rather than engage in a relationship with someone. When you start following the traits of Sigma men, there is a high likelihood that you'll get a lot of attention. Seven. What the fuck is he even saying? Dog, this dude is just stretching the video out to get mid-roll ads. What is he even saying? I'm trying to process what the fuck I'm hearing. I don't get it. Hate when someone imposes on your lifestyle. Because Sigma men don't follow trends, it is hard to impose styles on them. It drives them crazy when they're subjected to social expectations and norms. It might be fine for other people, but Just it is not how you should be. Lung? To be a Sigma oh, male, shit, don't dude. get too comfortable when others well, spell things out for I'm you glad about you your life. Some entertainment, Eight, dog. have shit. your own look. I'm As glad a you Sigma tuned male, into this, the Sigma male shit. You. While you don't care about trends, you are always on point in how you look, and you feel comfortable in your clothes and your own skin. A major... You take a shower is what he's trying to tell you. You can maintain hygiene. Doesn't matter if you know. I feel like this is like, is that being a Sigma male? Or like, what is he trying to say cater to fashion? Like, I'm not out there buying the most like expensive Louis Vuitton shit to wait. Like, what? Like, what is he trying to say? Like, I, I guess you look okay? You look normal? Sure. Part of the Sigma male trait is to look good and feel good. Nine, like different things. While everyone at the table is trying to carry on a conversation with the person next to them while posting about it on social media, a Sigma male is happy to just sit and listen to the band, engage in proper conversation with someone, and leave their phone in their pocket. To become a- When you're sitting with your friends, and you find that one dude, like you're talking about, you know, you know how you guys, you guys have those friends where like, let's talk about, you know, uh, places we want to visit, and then one of your friends is like, so you guys like crack? Oh man, oh man, you get me started on that crack, you'll never get me quiet again. Oh, about that, about that crack, boys. About that crack, you know? Woo! Y'all cowards don't even. A Sigma male, you might have to reduce the rate of how you post on social media. Everybody should know all about your routine, and you don't need to air your opinion about every issue in the news. 10. Fit anywhere. Because they don't demand power, and because they don't ask to be leaders, Sigma males can blend Thanks in and out of groups members. in society easily. There are no expectations or pressures because they can fit anywhere. 11. Be respectful. A Sigma male is not only a lover of his own space and independence, he values the independence of other people too. Oh, you mean just be a normal fucking human being? Wow. I guess we're all fucking Sigma males. He doesn't want to impose certain norms and restrictions on others. Instead, he respects the freedom of his friends and associates. Unlike the alpha male, if somebody doesn't act the way he wants them to, he doesn't control or force them. He simply goes his own way himself. 12. Know what you want. Sure, let's see what we want. This is how we know we're a Sigma. Due to their self-confidence and inner strength, Sigma males get a lot of attention. Well... Maybe try spelling fucking strength right, but sure. And from women. They can seduce any woman they want, but they are not the type of guy who would jump from one woman to another. Instead, they try to find a woman who is self-sufficient like them and independent. Sigma men find these things attractive in the opposite sex. Wow, it's like finding somebody and having a meaningful connection is what most people do. Man, we're all fucking Sigmas, Jesus. Sigma males live their lives on the- What kind of fucking absolute cock- What kind of an absolute loser falls for this? What kind of neckbeard believes this shit? Beta sign- Okay, boys, let's figure out if we're cuckolds or not. Let's see, ten signs you are a beta male. Perfected for cheesy, crunchy right, let's, satisfaction. Let's see, are we Cheers a beta it? male? I can give you my number. Oh, this is totally random. It is? I don't know how it is for you. Yeah, it's totally random, but you got a camera crew covering it, right? Hold on, is this a pickup artist ad? You're fucking with me. Oh, you're fucking with me. Oh, you're fucking with me. YouTube brought me to this rabbit hole. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no,
I'm Matt. We've done all the testing and we know what works. I feel like Superman right now. The honest, ethical, genuine way you should communicate with women. This is exactly what I was looking for. I was totally blown away and shocked. It's not about any games or any tricks, I think. I... Okay. Any guy that is struggling with this, it'll be the best investment that he's ever made. Hey man, let me ask you, have you ever been talking to a girl that you really liked, but... I'm gonna save this one for a video, actually. Let me just bookmark this. She just didn't seem attracted to you. Or maybe you were talking to a girl and you really felt like there was a connection, but then when you reached back out to her, she just didn't seem as interested. Well, what if I could show you... <laughs> How much you would have bet the text was literally, YOU WANT TO FUCK?! <gasps> she was like, oh, this is a weird guy. This is Elliot Roger 2.0 right here. Fuck me. I'm going to leave the country. Okay. How to create a real connection and real attraction with a woman so she naturally feels drawn to you instantly. You know, like in the movies, when the guy and the girl are just drawn to each other and time slows down and there's so much romantic tension. She's just helped. Yeah, bro. Bullet time max pain shit happens when I'm dating a girl, right? You guys have never believed it. every time I've like asked a girl, like the world goes fucking bullet time for me. It's like that dang and rompa, like, hold on boys, slow the fuck down. Let me fire the truth bullet right, that kind of shit. And she just can't help but be drawn to him. Isn't that something that you'd want to be able to do? Well, listen up, man, because this applies if you're looking to attract your dream woman or you're just looking for something less serious. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> ooh, <laughs> you look at me like that, I'm fucking calling, I'm, I'm calling a restraining order. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> Babe, what were you doing? Tech Ooh. Ooh. Serious. This is important for every single man to know. You see, when you look at the guys that. Guys, am I like losing it? These people are fucking, this is insane. These people, they're so scripted. Oh my God. Chat, how many people fall for this? How many people actually fall for this? Guys, hold on. How many people fall for this? How many people fall for this? How? How? How do you fall for any of this, guys? Stop it. Guys, how many people fall... It, you know what, man? I keep saying that, but, like, obviously people do. There's too many people who fall... You know what? Like, I used to laugh at these scams and shit, but, like, there's gotta be people falling for it, man. There has to be. He's selling his book for $4, guys. He's selling the book for, like, four... Look at that. He's selling it for four ninety five, dollars right? <sighs> Normally sold for 30 I'm sure there's some losers who will pay 5 bucks for anything. I'm sure. But you know what I am sure? I am sure I'm going to save this for later. And I'm getting a little tired, so I'm going to end the stream. So thank you all for showing up tonight. You know, donos and everything. I'm I'm getting an aneurysm. Like, I'm actually getting a little brain damage going on. So I'm going to stop this. And um, I'm going to hit you all up later. Night.